All right. What is going on, everybody? Welcome on back to the Cinema Lords podcast. Early morning recording. Not many of these before. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't have much pep in my step yet. It's noon. <laughs> it's <laughs> noon on Sunday, no less. Kickoff's an hour from now. <laughs> it's morning somewhere. <laughs> um, we're a little behind uh, behind schedule on these. Agatha's already been over for like two weeks, and Penguin's been over for a full week as of today. We've got Dune starting tonight, though. Let's go. Very oh, my God. That is tonight. That's tonight. Holy shit. Yeah, buddy. For some reason, I thought the 17th was like... Two Forever. weeks from now. <laughs> Holy Years fuck. Almost over. Yeah, Jesus. It's, crazy. it's coming quick. But fucking, we got Dune starting right after Penguin, which is dope. Very, very cool. Good job, HBO. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we already did me- uh, mid-season reviews for Agatha and Penguin. So we're going to be doing the uh, the final, like the last couple of episodes for each one. And then we'll do kind of like, you know, a season overarching kind of take on it like that. Uh, but we're going to try to shift through pretty quickly. Like we said, 12 o'clock on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, let's start with Agatha. Yes? Yeah. All right, cool. cool. Uh, so where we left off was a cool, actually, little place, like Wiccan and just basically become Wiccan. He threw Agatha. He threw Lily and Jennifer, like, just chucked all of them. Uh, so we opened up basically with him. This is a big episode for him. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, we just kind of, like, filling in a lot of the pieces that led him to the premiere episode where we met him for the first time. Um, this was an all right episode, though. I kind of liked this one. Decent backstory. Yeah. It was, it was entertaining enough for me, that's for sure. Yeah, cool to revisit the, uh, you know, the sitcom thing again. You know, jump right back into that story from episode one. Yep. Speaking of sitcoms, we got uh, we got Ralph Boner. We got Evan Peters back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> funny cameo. Funny cameo. Better than the first time. Yeah. The first time was like aggravating when he was on. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, that was lame. <laughs> but this, now, this now was you very know. Funny. Now you know you're getting Boner. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not getting <laughs> Quicksilver. <laughs> uh, there was a couple of good like. Um, he basically was like she hijacked my life and like she, she took over my house and like and he, like, killed the market value. <laughs> yeah. I had to leave my uh, my Blu-ray collection behind. <laughs> yes. And then there's actually I don't know if you guys caught it, but uh, I, I mean I'm sure you guys did because he says it out loud. But he's like, and I killed a dog, and it's just like, well, hold the phone. Like, yeah. Agatha claimed responsibility for that. Is there a second dog? Or which one of you That's did right. kill the yeah. dog? I was like, why are we still talking about dog <laughs> killing? Um, but I liked I liked that. We found out that um, Lilia was the witch that put the sigil on uh, on Wiccan. Yep. So that was something I guess that we were we were all kind of wondering. Um, but basically, we kind of just ended the episode with uh, Agatha being completely fine after she got thrown into the mud. She convinces Wiccan to Wiccan to keep on like just going down this road together, and we kind of figure out what Wiccan is really looking for because at the beginning he said power, but we clearly see that he's got tons of power because he just threw all yeah, his witches aside. Doesn't like seem nothing. to be an issue. Yeah, he's looking for uh, he's looking for Tommy, he's looking for his twin. Wondering if he's still out there. <coughs> so like I said, I enjoyed this one. This was a good one. Yep, they're, they're keeping us guessing a little bit, right? Because we we thought he was Agatha's son for a little bit there. That was when they for a little bit up on us, yeah. I wish they gave us some more means to figuring stuff out rather than just like, here's another thing you couldn't have guessed. But keeps, yeah, keeps, keeps you on your toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some good twists. No, that's true. Um, I like how they didn't come right out in your face as far as like we still don't know it yet, but we're gonna find out soon. But like, it's how is this kid coming about? Like. Is yeah, he, you know what I'm saying? It, like, yeah. Is he like the, some? he's not like the grown version of the one we get from WandaVision because obviously that one like went poof. But he seems to know all of that shit still as if it was him. Obviously, like it could be a variant, but that doesn't seem like very likely at all. And then when you see fucking, I feel like when he like just tosses Wanda aside and like he's looking for like, to, like something twisty is coming. You know what yeah, I mean? like Tommy. It's yeah, just like is he going to be like in the same scenario as far as just like basically like we find out like taking over another yeah. fucking kid, which and it's, it seems more so he's trying to like it's his own like self con like he's trying to find it in his own consciousness versus yeah. so like you said another variant like or something like that. It's like a internal uh, internal struggle with himself. Yeah, more so than finding somebody else. Yeah, it's just now in hindsight now and that we know like that. He, like, literally just took over some kid's life, and it seemed like he might have done the same thing with Tommy. Now, like, in hindsight, I feel it's like, oh, shit. Makes a little bit more sense now. Mm-hmm. Um, episode 7. This is my favorite one of the entire series. I thought this episode was actually, like, really good. Like, not just for, like, Agatha. I thought this was, like, a good episode of television. Yeah. Uh, basically, like, a Lily episode. 
kind of almost a similar thing. It's going to be putting a bunch of pieces together so that we can get more backstory and how everything led to where it was. But this one was like really heavily focused on her because every single episode she's got those little like random outbursts and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. So we find out what all those are about. Um, and we see like ones that we didn't already see like in the show, like ones that are from previous parts of her life. But basically they're all little glimpses. Like she says how time's not linear. Which right away, I love time shit. We talk about that all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she just keeps kind of like falling through pieces, and it's like all trying. It's like all different puzzle pieces that are slowly trying to put themselves together. And uh, it seems like she knows that it's it's getting close to being completely flushed. Yeah. Out. So I think there's a cool part when she's talking to like basically like her mentor or whatever. And she's like, why are you here? And she's like, because I'm going to fall. And she's like, yeah, we all fall. She's like, but what are you going to do with the time until you get there? Yeah. And then it was like, all right, so this bitch is going to do something cool. And then I think we got like the best special effect of the season with like the, um, like the Salem seven are coming after them. She like sacrifices mm-hmm. herself with a group and like the whole room does that fucking turnover. Yeah. That was fucking cool. Yeah. That looked pretty sick. Or like Dr. Strange. Yes. Yeah. Kind of. She like catches the fucking ledge too. Yeah. Salem, just takes down the whole Salem 7. Yeah. Which kind of underwhelming. They like, kind of built these guys up to be like badass. Yeah, and, pretty soft, yeah. Yeah. Could use a little bit more, a little bit stronger, uh, you know, appearance from the Salem 7 or going yeah. down with more of a fight. They just kind of got mopped to the side. Definitely expected that. I mean, I, yeah. they kept building them up, especially the, uh, is it the first episode? When they, the first episode, they go down to the Witch's Road, like at the very end of the episode, right? Like Wiccan's upstairs by himself, and they're all like trying to come through the windows and shit. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Like, that was kind of like, I was like, oh shit, like, all right, yeah. The fuck is Thought it? they'd be more of an integral yeah. part throughout the whole thing. Yeah, they really didn't like. They kind of like throw in Aubrey Plaza here, like at the end as like the bad guy. But I don't feel like there's like an overwhelming like bad. Everyone's kind of like guess a little bad in the show. I guess is kind of the point. Yeah, and I would, I wouldn't say it's that she's a she's a bad guy. It's just you know she's Lady Death. Like she's just. You know, that's true. She's not really. That's her, like a, yeah, that's her yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. Just, that's her part of the job description. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's just it's what who she I am, is. Maybe. Right. Right. Like, even <laughs> though she's saying she has to take their child or whatever, she seems like I have to. There's nothing I can do about yeah, it. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're talking about Agatha's kid, right? Yeah. 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 But it's, it seemed like it was like their kid together or something. I don't know. I don't know. I was confused by it, but death. You're saying. Seemed like it was Agatha and Avi Praza's kid somehow. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe I gotta look back at that, but uh, I thought they were pretty like good. See, like our kid. We we'll see some proof. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. See, we'll see some <laughs> <laughs> Sounds crazy. Now I'm saying it. I gotta check it out. <laughs> I, I, I don't hate it. I'll, I'll fucking. I'll probably check it out myself. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, how did how did you guys feel about this episode? Did you guys like this one kind of like as much as I did, or no? Yeah, definitely the the better one of it. It just. I guess we'll talk about it as a whole, but it seemed like like the episodes were just one too far ahead, almost like this. This should have been like not the pan ultimate. It should have been before. Okay, and we'll get into the next one. The next one should have been pan ultimate. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. But yeah, in terms that's... of the episode itself, it, it was it was very good. Yeah. The uh, the eighth episode, which we're about to get into in a second, basically plays as like almost like a finale. Like the actual finale, mm-hmm. episode nine almost feels more of like a um, like an epilogue kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Like that should have been. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but yeah, because you can't without if you do that one before the end, it kind of ruins a lot of the the mystery of the show. Right. So it kind of does have to go last, but but that just shouldn't be a finale. Yeah, it, it, is, it my, is. Is my gripe? It is weird. I guess maybe you could have flipped that one in nine. I mean, uh, that one in eight, maybe. Possibly. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. M- maybe. But then even then, that wouldn't make total sense because we find out fucking that, like, the road's not real. That, like, we can, like, conjure it up. Right. So it kind of, in a way, it has to basically go the way that it goes. But it is weird, and I feel you. Uh, we do in the episode, uh, episode seven, too, after a really cool episode. Like I said, we do end it with a cool ending, too. We find out that Rio is, in fact, death in a cool little fucking scene. She looks badass, too. She does. Yeah, she looks very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. This was definitely my favorite one. Like I said, not just for like Agatha. I thought that was like a good, like a good episode of television. Like twists and turns and some mystery. And yeah. That cool special effects scene. Yeah. Cool ending with fucking uh, Orby Plaza. I, I, yeah. I really just kept was, telling people, I'm like, it shows good. Like show up to that point, beat my expectations. 
Yeah. No, and, I, I think no matter what, it definitely beat my expectations. It's not a show which we're going to get into. I don't think it's a show that I'm going to go back to at any point in my life. <laughs> unless, <laughs> right. Right. unless fucking there's a reason to. But uh, we'll see. Uh, episode eight, like we just said, or I just said, it kind of basically serves sort of as a finale, really. This is the one that everything's going to kind of pop off. Um, we see death again, actually, to open up the episode. We kind of picked up right with Aubrey Plaza again. She walks Alice off, the one that uh, the witch that already died, kind of walks her off to the afterlife, which I guess is like something we're going to see a bit of now because we're going to see her do it with fucking Agatha's son. It's going to be a little... Uh, I think it shows she's not she's not like evil or anything. Yeah, you know I mean? she's just, just the Undertaker walking. Yeah, right. exactly. Right, just walking her, <laughs> walking them to death. Like that's just peacefully. Right, peacefully. Yeah. And that's just her like fulfilling their fate that they had to. Yep. That they were fated to have. Right. She's not, not exactly not speeding anything up. Or, no. Yeah. If anything, we see her give extra time. Yeah, she's like, she seems like she can do it at any point. Does the opposite. You know? yeah. <laughs> like she's like, I'm not giving them up. All right, well. <laughs> I'm taking them, but she never does. Right. Uh, one funny revelation I liked this in this episode is Agatha, or they all realize that Jennifer hasn't been able to use her powers for the last like hundred years because of Agatha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Agatha was just like, she makes a face and she's like, "That was you." Boston, <laughs> <laughs> you said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she's like. I fucked up a lot of witches there. Like I didn't know it was you. My fault. That was uh that was a funny one. Uh, Agatha's gonna tell Wiccan because she's caught on too that they can get um, Tommy back. This is kind of what we were just talking about a minute ago. But he finds that or Wiccan does like that ward shit basically. That's what it reminded me of. Mm-hmm. And he goes and finds like a little boy who's like literally like drowning in a pool basically. And it seems like he's gonna like steal this boy's body basically to give to Tommy. Which is even more, that's even more evil than going back to the Lady Death. Like, you know what I mean? Isn't yeah. that more, like, selfish and evil than... Definitely more evil. ...the Lady Death is doing? For sure. You know? Without a doubt. Like we said, it's in her job description. It's yeah. Not like she's <laughs> He's just being selfish. Yeah. <laughs> like, give me this little boy. It's not like she's, like, taking these souls and, like, putting them in chains and fucking dragging them. You they're know in purga- they're in pur- The souls are in purgatory. Just <laughs> yeah. trapped there forever. Exactly. Yeah. No, so you're absolutely right. He even says that... I think he asked that the Agatha. He's like, am I just... Am I killing this kid so that my brother can fucking live? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure are. <laughs> um, let's see what else was there. We find out that Rio and Agatha made a deal like hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Not the specific details, but we know that they were fucking at one point and that they made a some sort of a deal hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And we were hinted at already that she traded in her son for not the Darkhold, but whatever the fuck that other book was called. Book of the Damned, maybe? Is yeah. that, does that sound it? Yeah. yeah. All right, there you go. The Book of the Damned. So. And you had hints of this too earlier. I think it was like episode three, the one with the band. That like was, while we pro- was literally like, episode, she's, like, like she like flips like the microphone recorder on, and they're talking about how like yeah. this is part of our deal and also yes, mm. you had uh, you had hints of that earlier in the series. Word good call, yeah, word, word, word. Um, that was definitely probably my second favorite episode. That was a good episode. And I did just kind of check that out, and it it's not definitive, but uh, there are a lot of people that think that. Aubrey Plaza somehow fathered Nikki, uh, Nicholas Scratch as well. Uh, I don't like that. called her my love when that she was in the midst of birth. It's not an airtight theory. Yada yada. But I like it. It's out there. Yep. I like it. Yep. Uh, female witches don't need the men. Yeah. Plus, <laughs> Aubrey Plaza seems like she's slinging that thing in the show. <laughs> yeah, she's not. <laughs> 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 that got that. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, so after we like warg into this fucking kid, we, they kind of like leave it. They don't show it for sure, so it's kind of like up in the air. But you have to imagine that's probably gonna end up being Tommy. Uh, but anyway, we see they get off the witch's road, and uh, they don't get like the rewards that they were initially expecting to get. But it's Aubrey Plaza there. Uh, it's like they get to the end of Oz. <laughs> like the, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, it's just a guy behind the curtain. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's basically what it was. <laughs> right? That's very much what you it was. You won nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and they had her dressed up like the Wicked Witch of the West in one, one scene, too. I don't remember if it was this episode or... Agatha. Agatha, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that was this one. Oh, no. that was It was seven, because it was the one with Lilia. She had to do the card reading. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and fucking uh, he was Maleficent there. Right. 
Um, Beauty. Yeah, yeah. What was I just going to say? Oh, yeah. So we get to Aubrey Plaza outside, and uh, her and Agatha are going to fight, but she just fucking gives Agatha the work. Just absolutely tosses her around. And then we get Wiccan. Wiccan comes flying on down, and I would argue the worst superhero costume I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> yeah. life. Yeah, it literally just looks like a like a Halloween costume. It really does. It's Not a very good one. kid's Halloween <laughs> costume. Not a very good one. Lip gloss and eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was intentional, though, because you know, like, you know, you think of like Wanda's old, like, costume, like the red. Yeah, no, no, I know what you're talking about. It's not exactly a. Like you, you like you get that at Spirit Halloween too. With like, yeah. it's, it's an awesome costume, but and so maybe it was intentional. Yeah, and they're still not in full reality at this point, right? They're still in the Witch's room. Agatha's like uh, trap, trap reality kind of thing. He's like, I just need something. Yeah. <laughs> it just puts it together. Right, the Witch's Road is something that he, well, he created he, in his he, head. Whatever, yeah, he but, conjured up. But she made him do it with his room or some shit, I don't know. Just like Wanda did with fucking uh, Westview. Right. Literally just created that because that's how powerful they are. Right. Um, so, like I said, yeah, Wiccan comes down. <laughs> you, you <laughs> that, get, that get you, boys? Yeah, I didn't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, after he comes down in this terrible ass costume, he just fucking does the opposite of Agatha. He just throws Aubrey Plaza like through a house. Yeah. So again, we've been seeing signs this entire show of just like how powerful this kid is, which makes sense. He's the Scarlet Witch's son, so mm-hmm. as he should be. Yeah, I mean he's gonna be a fucking problem, a serious fucking problem, and he seems like he might have a little bit of not evil in him, but I don't, I don't know. Signs that he could be manipulated yeah. into being evil. Or just, self, like I said, selfishness. Doing what he's doing for for, uh, for Tommy. Selfishness, I think, is a big thing in villains. Mm-hmm. I think there's I think there's things there. And his his dad is Vision as well? or is I mean, really not that? really. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't remember that. Wanda like, made herself pregnant, but it was like gotcha. with Vision, gotcha, gotcha. I guess. She just... I don't know. <laughs> I can't figure just don't need men, I don't I <laughs> They don't, exactly. Yeah, that's, they don't. She just made herself pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Fucking spontaneous. Um, and then the other big thing here is at the, the end. The end ends up with a banger because not only do we have this wild kiss, we also have Agatha getting her powers back. Wiccan basically is like, go ahead. He trusts her to not kill him, which is a wild fucking move. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Crazy, especially after he's already seen a lot from this bitch. Like he should know who he is dealing with at this point. Yeah. Uh, but Agatha holds true. She doesn't suck all of it. She gets enough to get her powers back. But I like. Uh, it was cool just seeing her like back, and she's like doing her same shit from WandaVision, looking all fucking eerie. Yeah. Working her purple. Yeah, working <laughs> that her. Purple. <laughs> um. But she basically is gonna. Like try to, she doesn't try to. She convinces Wiccan to basically offer himself up to death in her stead. And once she's like, basically like, nah, 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 I pulled a fucking trick on you. As she's about to just skip off, he's like, is this what you did to your son? And then that kind of fucking doesn't just like record scratch. She literally like hears that, stops, and like beelines it to Aubrey Plaza. And then uh, it's the kiss of death. Drops dead and becomes a ghost. Not entirely sure why she became a ghost. Yeah. Seemed like she was powerful enough to not fully die. Like her last little security blanket of not completely dying. I like that. Because uh, he asks if, if the other girls are ghosts too. And she just says like, no. Not powerful enough. Or it could be her like her spirit that that uh, Aubrey Plaza doesn't want to take. You know what I mean? Like doesn't yep. have to take or anything. So She's in purgatory. That's what, like, yeah. yeah. That's why she's just kind she of a free spirit Trapped after she dies. Her. Guess. Could be a Gandalf thing where she still like has a role to play and like mm-hmm. something bigger kept her alive because she needs to be alive. Agatha the White. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's, that's, that's clean. That's sent, clean. Sent back by the, <laughs> the Eagles. Clean. Uh, yeah. Who even knows at this point? It could be fucking. We know uh, Galactus is coming. I'm sure he could do fucking some crazy shit. I don't know. I'm sad that King's gone. I can tell you guys. <laughs> I'm sad that King is gone. Jonathan Majors is going to kill that shit. That was the only good part of fucking um, Quantumania was that ending, like the yeah, old stadium yeah. of Kangs. That shit was dope. Council of Kangs. Council of Kangs. 
That was gonna be that was gonna it's be like fucking Rick and Morty stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so we get that fucking kiss. Agatha drops dead, becomes a ghost. Actually, oh shit! This is I'm sorry. I thought that was in episode nine. This ends with the big revelation. Uh, we get, like we kind of already talked about. We found out that Wiccan created the the witch's road. It wasn't real. He was able to conjure it up just like fucking Wanda did. So that was this. That was a good revelation. That was a good. This whole last like ten or fifteen minutes of this episode fucking banged. Yeah, this was a very good one. Yeah, this one was this one was pretty good. So was it him doing the same thing Wanda did, or was it Agatha kind of tricking him into doing that so that she could get more power? <sighs> I don't really know. I mean, yeah. knowing Agatha, I would say tr- like based off Agatha, I would say tricking him into doing it. Yeah, I was trying to decide because uh, she didn't like so like that would mean she somehow made him like go to her like sneak into her house that night. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you'd have to go that far back in order to do that. I yeah. feel like. And she does say, um, like I was just gonna kill him all in my basement or whatever. <laughs> so I think, I think she was she was planning to just do her usual coven, suck the power out of him. Right. But uh, but then he somehow created this crazy other reality that she had to take them through so, yeah so he, he more complicated it i guess is what I'm, I'm concluding now but i don't really know which i wonder but then like when you like when you say like did she maybe like point him to do this it would like you know how she acted like she had already walked the road before mm-hmm. i feel like there could be some like ties there you know what i'm saying kind of like a similar thing where she already because she we saw find out she's been doing this for like hundreds and hundreds mm-hmm. of years so right. maybe something like that. Maybe this like kind of already happened before, where someone's done something similar to this. Yeah. She so she kind of knew what to expect. Least. Maybe she thought she could get more out of it that way, or get his power, or Rio's power, or something. Yeah. Like, we also really... don't. There's no like ever reason given for taking the shoes off either, which is another thing. There's a lot with like Agatha and this road. Now that I'm thinking about it, because we find out that it's his, but I feel like I don't know. Like I said, they hinted at her, not hinted at. They said that she walked it before. Right. And that was her. She always talked about the road when, you know, when those medieval flashbacks and stuff, she was teaching her son about the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, like she literally, it. It con- she basically conjured that up. Yeah, it was never real. Story. It was just a, yeah, just a trick I did to hmm. kill my covens. The only thing I can think of now is with the shoes, though, is like she was leaving it almost like knowing when they had come full circle kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. to the point where she knew, like, all right, like, because she knows that this is a conjuring up of his. That's why all, like, the things are, like, the things in his room. So that, obviously, she catches on to. So maybe she, like, left the shoes to be like, all right, we're at, like, we're at the end of the road. I can, I'm not going to be able to keep up the charade for much longer because, obviously, this kid's going to figure it out now. Yeah. So any tricks I want to or need to play, I got to play now. Mm-hmm. Maybe, yeah. like, a clock, basically. Right. Something like that. Yeah, I like that. I feel like they're, they're definitely going to keep leaking some some answers to us over the the future stuff you know? yeah yeah left some unknowns for us here but they'll let us know she also like it seemed you know what i feel like this i feel like there was probably another one of these witches that she took that somehow ended up on something like this like one of these roads basically i feel like so she knows it's a possibility and yeah i feel like because she like no like she knows enough but not every like she knows there's gonna be trials but like the way she's like looking around it seems like it almost like looks different yeah so maybe the last time she was on like the witch's road it looked drastically different like this is what he conjured up but maybe like another witch conjured it up and it looked drastic it looks like the yellow brick road yeah exactly (laughs) right (laughs) fucking choosing maps in mario kart or some shit (laughs) right that i feel like it makes sense you know you also take bits and pieces from your own your own world as you see how Wiccan does it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's almost kind of like Inception kind of, you know, like in their dreams that they're taking things like right. buildings or, you know, monuments from, from other, from yes. their, like their real life and they're putting it in, but they right. don't want to do too much. You know, that's when you start getting lost. But right. I wonder if that's kind of almost the same where, you know, and they show it, I think in the next one in his room too, where yeah, all the things are like, and... yeah, posters and whatever it is. Like it all kind of, he's just creating it from his own, like his own world. Right. Which I would imagine would be whatever the other witch. So yeah, so that's sure every witch is would look different. Yeah, but would have like a similar con, like we just said, like a sim, like the same concept. Yeah, like you got to get through stages to get. to Yeah, the concepts end. definitely the same. It's it's the uh, definitely like the path on. Right. No pun intended. Like the path on how you get there. I'm sticking to that. I like it. Yeah, I agree. I don't know who this other witch was or where they are, but I like it. I don't mind them pulling out another fucking witch out of nowhere. 
Maybe like a fucking one of like the Supremes there. Some shit. Uh, we go to episode nine, the finale. And kind of like we said already, but like episode eight kind of served as like a real finale. This served, to, at least to me, like more of an, like more of an epilogue. That's just kind of like almost like in closing. Like, all right, so here's what happened after the story. But not really what happened after, but like here's these little tidbits that will make the story more interesting now that you've got to the end. Uh, but this one's basically all heavy Agatha flashbacks. We go back to like, I don't even know. I think it's the 1700s, I think they say. But we see yeah. her. Uh, Same g- with witch trials kind of era. Yeah. Yeah. 1600s, 1700s. Yeah. A uh, long ass time ago, by the way. But she's fucking pregnant. She does that old school shit that we've seen in a couple of other movies where she's just actually fucking Rhaenyra Targaryen just did it in season one, I think, at the end of it. She just like stands there and just like drops the baby like all right out to the <laughs> yeah. right. Just like crouches down and just fucking like, all right, there's a baby. Three points. Uses yeah, a tree. Like really. Uses the bark of a tree to brace herself. And that, that's it. Yeah, God. Bites the lemon. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Is that witchcraft? Or is that just, oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Just like, she just like. Have, I was thinking the same that? thing. <laughs> Actually, yes. Now that you, I forgot all about that, but I had the same thought. I was like, oh shit, you're gonna do some magic with this lemon? Yeah. <laughs> like, nope. Just trying to distract myself. That's right. I forgot all about that. That was funny. Uh, she, but she gives you know birth to her baby, and right away we see Arby Plaza, like basically there, like watching from a distance the whole time, and. Uh, Agatha already knows who she is, which could mean that they've known each other for even longer than this. I would assume so. Uh, but she's coming for her baby and she begs her for more time. And like we said, she's not necessarily a bad guy. She's just doing her job, but she's like, all right, I'm gonna give you guys some time, but it's borrowed time. So like yeah, at just, any time I could come. We're kicking enough. the can down the road. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's a good It's all it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like we said, that's almost so like uh, Orby Plaza is like not a good guy, but fucking just has a duty. Yeah, exactly. That's it. There's some humanity there. I'm not that even if she's a dead spirit. Um, let's see. We see now that her son was allowed to live. They're basically just going to travel through from village to village. And she's just going to be murdering witches by the fucking boatload. Just stealing all of their power. Beating them in. Yeah, for real. Uh, and we see while they're walking from village to village, her son's getting older. So it's been a few years now. So they've been probably rolling good, which is why she's so hyped up on power. Uh, but on their travels, basically, the son starts like making up his own songs and shit. And it turns into the witch's road, which then she turns into basically a story for other witches to like be intrigued by to go follow. Like it's the fountain of youth or some shit to go looking for the witch's road. And basically, it just keeps her from having to go from village to village. Now, she's just like, basically, come see me. And as soon as you get here, I'm just going to suck up your shit. And thanks for Follow coming. Follow me, yeah. <laughs> so, she's got a good little scheme. Good little scheme running here with her little kid for a good few years, like we said. Yep. And then it shows her kind of going through different eras, too. Like, by the last scene or whatever, she's... Seems like she's like wearing more modern mm. clothes and stuff. So Yes, I do know what you're talking about. She's for hundreds like, of years. Yeah. She's done once a month for... 500 years or whatever, you know, she's yeah. racked up a lot of, a lot of power at this point. It's almost like everybody knows that the, it's kind of like the, like the road is there. It's just for those who truly need it. Kind of like, it just comes Maybe. to those who need it, you know? So like, obviously we don't know the backstory and all these witches that came there, but they probably just heard of it and wanted to like, check it out. They didn't necessarily, I think you're going to be powerful. Need it. Fuck. Right. You didn't like need it. Or maybe like you're saying, you're not powerful enough to go on it. And that's why. Wiccan's able to make it, but yeah, like the, he's able to basically. He's the one that opens the like, door. Like, what? What are all? What are they all coming here for? Just to check it out? You know what I mean? Like, do they need it? Do they need uh, to go down this road? Or well, like just I said, like, it's oh, like the wow, fountain I mean, of youth. Like, oh. it's like it's the mystery that entices. It's the fucking the what's the city of gold there that they make all the movies about? Yeah, El Dorado. Like El Dorado. Yeah. Yep. It's like this mystery like story. Where, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you get to the promised land, you'll be rewarded and showered with gifts and all that yeah. stuff. Definitely, uh, in human definitely a big theme with all these witches is they're all power hungry. Like, oh yeah, uh, right. So no they doubt. All, you know, with this endless life, you know, they they eventually hit this breaking point where they just want to yeah. be the strongest and the forbidden fruit for like another metaphor. But it's, it's, it's almost like that. That's why they they're not worthy of it. They're they're coming just for power at the end. Right, but right, the, right, the, right, the, right. The road is literally just your own personal right, journey. You, you know what I mean? There like you you, you're doing some like internal. Maybe. Soul searching, yeah. not not just like it's not about what's at the end of the road, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's the, the journey along the way, right? 
I also like the idea that Wiccan's not like just looking for like more power, like you just said, like all these witches are power hungry. And he doesn't need it apparently. <laughs> right, he's there to like actually like look. He's there to look for his brother, but like something real. Mm-hmm. So there's a, there's a lot of a lot of theories, a lot of different theories. Um, but we see death come for her son in the middle of the night. But like even that, she just like he just kind of wakes up and he's just like, oh shit, is it like is it yeah. that time? Almost like he knew. Almost yeah, like just, he, right, like he knew somehow. Me. Yeah. It's like, okay. Um, but that is when fucking we're going to see, like, basically that whole story, like, wraps up. So we found out what actually happened to her son. He wasn't sacrificed. Uh, but then we see, like, Ghost Agatha. She's going to come back to Wiccan. And uh, he gives her hit that weird little brooch with her son's hair, which is very, very strange. That was a weird part. That's all she's got left. Yeah. <laughs> Rubbing it all over her face and stuff. <laughs> Um, but they're gonna they're gonna go off together. They're gonna go look for Agatha's son and for Tommy for the both of them. And then we see that uh, Jennifer's the other, the other witch that survived. She just flies off like fucking basically like Wanda does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she's got her powers back. Yeah. But what do you mean this is the finale? Yeah, I get. What, what do you mean we're now going to go find Tommy and Agatha? So, like. What do you mean? Like, we literally just got House of Dragon. Like, this is the same thing as House yeah, of Dragon. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, what do you mean the war's not started yet? Like, what Look do you at mean? This guy. What do you he wants mean Agatha we're season two. I don't want Agatha yeah, season two. I want he's I wanted it in Agatha. the finale. I don't want to wait <laughs> fucking two years for a whole eight episode, nine episode thing. Oh, uh, it seems where, like it's going to be Vision Quest. Like, that, that should be the finale of this, and then that's it. What do you uh, mean we're now going? Like, <laughs> right. That's when. That's annoying, but fucking... I mean, that's just how they got to do it. Yeah, to draw gotta, out another season help. from you. Yeah, yeah, subscribe to Disney Plus. Thank you. Yeah. Probably raise the prices by then too. Oh, and by the way, it'll be twenty nine. It'll be nineteen ninety nine a month. Ending. Yeah, you're. I mean, it is. It's almost twenty twenty five. But the Vision Quest series is premiere in twenty twenty six. See you in two mean, years. Give me a fucking break. This year is already slated though. Like this year is fucking loaded for the most part. I don't, uh, right, so get this out of the, get it out of the way, but wrap this up before all that happens. I don't I don't have to wait two years. Like um, I thought it was good, but I don't want to. As long as there's more to it, right? From there, like, yeah. If it's literally just like there's two episodes left and they haven't told us what happens, then I, yes, yeah, I, I agree that would suck. But if if there's another ten episodes worth of shit, I just think you could have wrapped it up in one more episode finale, not a whole yeah. eight nine episode season two. Well, I, like nobody said, it's not going to be two. season two. It's going to be this vision. Or, yeah, right. A different show. Yeah, whatever it's going it it to be this show right here. Um, which, like, so this year we know, like, all the players and stuff, though. Like, it's all kind of, like, not along the lines of, say, like, magic, basically. So they this year will probably be more, like, quote-unquote grounded. We're still obviously doing superhero shit. But, like, say, like, the first one's Captain America. Mm. Then you got Thunderbolts. Obviously, Fantastic Four is not going to be so much, but that's like an origin story. So I'm sure there's going to be a yeah. lot of like not superhero shit. You know what I'm saying? It'll probably be them fucking normally. I would imagine before they like become the Fantastic Four. I don't know. I don't know kind not. of from what I read, it sounds like they're literally just it's picking up. Like, Already going to be the Fantastic Four. Yeah, okay. which which works kind of like similar to Spider Man. Like yeah, this yeah, new yeah, Spider-Man. Homecoming. You yeah, don't yeah. you don't need the backstory or all that. Like right, you know right, how right. it happens. <clears throat> no, I got you. Uh, so yeah, like once you like look at it like that, I feel like 2026 isn't that far off, and it's not like these characters are going to be involved in any of the shit that's coming. Like we don't need anything that's related to, not in the stuff, not in the Captain Americas or Thunderbolts. Like no. that, none of that, none of this is going to get thrown in there. No, I would say that Vision Quest is probably a good bet for getting Wanda back too. Vision Quest might be like a very big series now that I think about it. Yeah, that's what it leads to, sure. Yeah, that that could be a big series. I bet you that's going to have Wiccan back in it. I wouldn't be surprised if it has Agatha back in it. I'm sure they're going to find someone to have Tommy. I bet you. I think that Vision Quest series Ralph is going to be big. <laughs> yeah, maybe get a boner in there. <laughs> Lady uh, Lady Death's probably still going to be around. Yeah. Yeah, the, the maybe. Fixture, right? Can't go anywhere, really. Maybe. Jennifer's definitely going to be back. I don't know if it'll be in Vision Quest, but she's. I don't think they show that to end the series. For no, like that's literally how the show ended. Yeah, she gets yeah. out of the ground and she flies off. Not like an end credit scene. Like yeah, it's the yeah. last thing you see in the show. So they're not going to show it's that. Definitely not just. just a, oh, she's alive. Cool. Right. <laughs> nobody. Nobody cares about any of these characters enough for them to be like, oh, yay! Like Jen survived. Yeah, right. Woo! Yeah. 
Like, if they show her fly off like that, it's definitely so that she can go fucking go do something now. You know what I mean? She's got her powers If they, if they were just going to do that, I'd rather see Kitty <laughs> Kitty Foreman yeah. come back. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. This, you're absolutely right. Yeah, Kitty made it. <laughs> One thousand percent. Hell yeah. Um, so let's kind of say uh, overarching season here. We kind of hinted a little bit, but I'll say first thing right out of the gate, the show was so much better than I expected it to be. Yeah, it helps when your expectations are below the floor, but... Bottom of the barrel. I thought it was going to be the worst thing I've ever seen for Marvel, and it definitely was not the worst thing I've seen no. for Marvel. Yeah. And they took some good chances, you know? But like, uh, a lot of my complaints would be, like, they, like I said, kind of pulled too much random shit near the end. Like, oh, this, here's this random thing, here's this random thing. But I, I like that they were adventurous with it, kept you guessing, and tied it back to Wanda a lot. Uh, so I, I, was, I was happy with it. Came together nicely. I just didn't think, like I said, my thing is I didn't think the ending would be, all right, now we're going to go find Tommy. I thought we were finding Tommy right? yeah. in, the, in the finale. Like, yeah. I, I don't want a whole nother, have to watch a whole nother show to see how this wraps up. Like I, said, I just thought, I, I thought we were finding Tommy. I thought we were getting to where we needed to get to in this season, not a year from now or two years from now. Like I said, though, that kind of makes me excited for Vision Quest. Like, we have a lot, like, first of all, like, what happened to Vision? Do we have white vision? Are we gonna find a way to get old vision back? But I just want that, and like how, and if potentially Wanda comes back, I don't want this tied in too. That would be a great way to end Vision Quest. Yeah, be with Wanda. That's all. That's that all I need. Be, that would be for me. That'd be sick. Yeah. I'd be very excited. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, that like, just pissed me off. But besides that, it was just I'm much better it. than expected. Um, I did like how, so like, I, I think it was episode three was the one I kind of already said the, uh, the rock band episode. I thought that one was like very funny. And I thought that was kind of what the show should be like, like playful and shit. Mm -hmm. I really liked that episode. And then episode seven, like I said, was kind of the, not, not like that at all. Like episode seven was like a, like a serious toned episode. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I think that was my favorite one. So those were definitely my two favorite episodes and they were like completely different ends of the spectrum. Yeah. So I thought that was actually kind of good. I thought that showed, I was like, all right, this show is doing like, it's doing a little bit of everything. Like it's not just hitting one point. And at least on two occasions for me personally, they, they hit on both. Points. Yes. So I thought that was pretty good. I, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to come back and watch it. I don't think ever. I don't really <laughs> see why I would. Yeah. Um, but like I, I it was, it was fine. It was better. I, I it was fun. It wasn't tedious. Like it wasn't tedious. No. Like, if I had to watch this or Moon Knight again, I'm <laughs> nah, watching this all yeah. day long. <laughs> Secret Invasion. Um, I actually have been wanting to watch the Miss Marvel series again, so I don't know. I did watch She-Hulk again, too. But, uh, yeah, better than I ever expected it to be. Probably won't come back, but I enjoyed it. It was fun. Some cool performances. Aubrey Plaza was cool. Yep. yep. And good story. You'll, it's worth watching to, to fill in the blanks for the upcoming stuff. Yeah, Big no doubt. All that, yeah. No doubt. It's definitely like a significantly drop down. It's like WandaVision, but like a big, a big, big drop down. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. Good, good job, Marvel. Uh, let's get to the Penguin. Let's get to uh, the, the big one. I know you guys are probably uh, very excited to talk about this show. I know yeah. you are in particular. Yes, awesome. Blew me away. Um. That fucking, oh my god. I haven't even, like, seen a single thing from that second movie, and I already fucking hate it. I already fucking hate it. <laughs> what, well, the Batman? Yeah. Like, I, that, Why? Like, I haven't seen it, because the movie, like, those fucking, <laughs> everything that comes out oh, about it is whoa! so fucking pretentious. <laughs> here. It's so annoying. I saw, like, Matt Reeves' comment the other day. It was like, a big part of this is going to be uh, Rob Patterson and Bruce Wayne. Oh, you're getting like, an emo Bruce, you're to, getting emo Bruce Wayne. What, like... What do you mean we're getting emo we're Bruce getting Wayne? Emo Bruce he just Wayne. was emo Bruce Wayne. I saw that and I was like, what are we doing here? I was like, like at this point, yeah, let's just I mean... have Bruce Wayne kill himself. I was <laughs> like, I don't know how much fun. He already looks like he's in My Chemical Romance. So where are we going to go? Yeah. And the first one was such a slog in a tedious watch. And now we're just going to watch Pattinson just fucking pow his Bruce internal Wayne. struggles. Oh, yeah. my God. I already know I'm going to fucking hate this movie. <laughs> I already know it. And anytime I say anything about this movie, there's like a fucking billion people that are just like... Batverse coming after you, though. Know? Wait, didn't you love Penguin? Penguin was really, really good. Yeah, I really, really but, liked Penguin. And that, Penguin had nothing to do with Batman, though. Like, think about it. Like, it had nothing it to does. do with Batman. It does. It's, it's we'll all get about it. Batman. We'll, we'll get into it, but it does. 
<laughs> like it literally does. It like, literally sets it's, up. It's a supporting well, character for Batman. It sets up potentially two and three. Yeah. Colin, Colin, Farrell, Colin Farrell said he's in five, like five or six scenes in the next Batman. I did not say that the show wasn't relevant to the timeline. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this show stands on its own. Like you don't have to be a fan of Batman or comic book oh, movies okay. yeah, yeah, to yeah, right. watch this show. Yeah, okay. You'll yeah, understand right. everything that's happening. Got it's it. not yeah, like you're yeah. like I don't know who anybody is. No, it's like, just... You can watch this show. My dad was at my dad asked me about the show because yeah, yeah, Kenny yeah. Brown watched the show yeah, yeah. and said how much he liked it. Yeah. That's all I meant was like you don't have right. to be watching the Batman like no, that's true. Yeah. It's it's a mafia mafia thing, not exactly. a not a Batman. I, I'm just right. confused how you could love this but then be like, Oh fuck Batman <laughs> two don't even oh, yeah. dog, get that shit out of like, here. Like we just watched this awesome show that's because it takes was... place in that the first one fucking penguin was really really cool and then like he flipped his car like 17 times and he was like totally fine and i was like i thought this movie was supposed to be like all intense and like super grounded and super heavy and i was like nobody like everything everybody's just always fine and then you have it's the best like, scene in the movie that, and, and i have problems with it that's what i'm saying and then two minutes into the penguin he's shooting guys in the face there's fucking and bitches and all that i'm like all right like, if people are dying and people are getting shot on screen like now i'm in Mm-hmm. If Batman starts doing that, then I'm in. Batman, I'm in. He's not Batman doesn't kill. Yeah. I don't need him to kill. I just kill. need villains to kill. Yeah. Show me fucking. Did. Uh, the Riddler did. The Riddler like kill, the killed a, killed a bunch of government not like the officials. Penguin did. And... Not like the Penguin did. <laughs> in the Penguin show, they would have seen him like a bunch of stabbing yeah. or fucking shooting <laughs> or some shit. Yeah, it's yeah like, exactly. <laughs> so fucking... it, said, it said he sticks a bomb to the guy's chest, and that's not as that's not as evil as that. He really sticks a fucking bomb to his chest and is giving him riddles. It's oh, fucking lame. Yeah. It's fucking lame. We can agree on the penguin at least. Let's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's talk about what let's we can agree on. Yeah. Let's focus on the good things. Uh, so we left off with the big Sophia Valcone episode. Uh, we found out that she kind of just, you know, she killed everybody. She wiped out. She's the head of the, the family now. Yeah. So this was this was a good episode. I, I, I liked this one right away. There was two different storylines going on at the same time, but they were both pretty good. Um, Oz takes that the hostage kid, the Maroney kid. Yeah, the younger uh, one. Yeah, the younger one hold, holds him hostage uh, in exchange for the mushrooms. Yep. So that was that was a cool storyline. I thought mm-hmm. goes to the jail, says only bring one guy. Actually, that yeah. So that's also when um, he sends in an assassin to kill Sal. So that was a good. This was like I said, two kind of separate things going on. But that was basically the main focus of the episode was Oz and then Sophia, kind of dealing with two different things. But let's do one at a time. Like we kind of just said, Sal fucking. Ends up killing the assassin. Doesn't just kill him. Kills a guard. He gets out of jail. And then you get to the fucking exchange drop, which that was a fucking pretty cool yeah. scene. Pretty yeah. wild scene. <laughs> yeah. Pretty wild scene. Um, the fucking Maronis try to jump them. They killed them very fast. That was a terrible trap. The Maronis like, set the trap and they attack first. And the right. Penguins guys killed them like very quickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mopped them. Yeah. They really did. They were just, it was like fucking Mike Tyson fighting children. They just whopped them real quick. Um, but then he fucking literally lights her and the, the Maroni kid that they took hostage, just lights them both on fire. We see him burn to death. Yeah, fuck that. So fucking badass. That was cool. Yeah, that's that's so what I'm badass. saying. That's yeah. why this show plays for me. Yeah. yeah. And that the, the sun was like already soaked with it before, you know? Yeah. Like, it, it in obvious. gasoline. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and he says a, a couple episodes later, he says a scene too, when he's fighting Maroni, it's Oh yeah, so no, he says in the about how he smells. Yeah, yeah. Like, what what uh, what perfume did you did your wife have on? Oh, yeah. Because so she smelled she smelled a little a little funky when, when she was burning. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. so awesome. That's right. What when is uh, when does she say that? Is that before they fight? Yeah, right. Right when uh, let me right, we'll but, get that's into right. it. But um, I think Pan Ultimate. Yeah, that's how we get Sal to like basically like lose focus on yeah. his little buddy there who pulls the power out yep. and that's when they have the fight which was a good fight good fight funny ending too yeah uh so like we said two kind of separate storylines we just did oz sophia is first we see her get questioned by the uh the police chief who we did see in the batman yep. movie mm-hmm. so he was a character we had already seen guy sounds like he smoked real raspy ass four voice. packs yeah. of cigarettes a day since he was what like are you doing <laughs> Like, I, I was listening to that. I was like, is that guy, like, I have to go look it up, actually, now that I think about it. Like, is that guy, like, is that a, is that him doing, like, an accent? Like, is he, does he not sound like He's like, got to sound like Sounds like, like RFK. Right? Yeah. <laughs> He's got to be. If not, wow, props off to that guy. Good good job for you, dude. Yeah. 
Um, but Sophia is able to kind of just like brush him off. Like he thinks he's going to be able to work this girl over, but she's about this life. She's, she know how, like, even though she hates her father, she saw what her father did for her. She was next to be in line. Like he wanted her to lead. She obviously knows the game. Mm -hmm. uh, but she's got Vidi held hostage. She wants to know where the money's being held. And Vidi's like, all right, there's no point in me telling you anything because I'm going to be fucking killed. And we don't see them really go any farther talking wise, but we do see her like he's being held outside. He's uh, just like in boxes or whatever. And she just takes a big thing of like cold water and throws it on him. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yep. That so, must be awful. Brutal. Yeah. Like just like turning to <laughs> ice, like not cold enough to die yet. Yeah. He's in like some kind of a cellar or like a crypt or something. Seems like. Or, yeah. It yeah. does seem like a crypt. It's a good call. Definitely chilly down there. I like um, her holding a hostage is kind of like, especially like by herself, because there was, like you said, it was like in a crib. It very much wasn't kind of like the, all right, henchmen, like bring him over into the fancy library room and tie him to a chair kind of thing. Right. It seemed almost like she was the one who like drugged him and like dragged him down here herself. Somehow. For sure. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. yeah. You think so too, yeah. right? For That's sure. Your point. Yeah. She kind of makes a, seems to make a point out of that in all of her hostage situations where it's I got the most. She has her psychiatrist guy with her. She doesn't really ever have any muscle. Yeah, right. It's oh not the uh, God, it's not the henchman like punching him in the gut and stuff right. like that. She's just in fact most of the time she's just like, nope, hold off, right. like don't do anything. Right. Or even like when they're torturing his mom later, it's like just a finger thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, right. not, it's not like this huge show of power. It's yeah. just like a, her twisted, smart way of torture. Um, if they, if this show, if there's one, there's like one thing I don't like about this show. I do not need juice driven down my throat anymore. I don't need him. I don't want him. I don't need him. So if he, if he turns into Scarecrow, you're going to be pissed? Oh, my God. Please don't. Is that a thing? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. I don't think it's this episode, but the uh, maybe the one after when they're in like the library thing. In the background, you can see. It's not like 100% confirmed, but you can see uh, almost like a glove with knives, kind of like a Scarecrow has. And you can mm -hmm. see, his, uh, you see his mask. Like what kind of looks like a like a scarecrow mask? It's terrible. They news. throw it. They throw it out there. It's terrible news. Theo Rossi stinks. <laughs> I hate him. I'll never. He'll never not be juice, and I'll never not want to fucking kick him in the face. <laughs> like it's just it's it's just in my brain now. Like there's no other way around it. Like I want to kick him in the mouth. <laughs> And he's so annoying in the show. I hate the way he talks. Like, he did it in Sons, too, towards the end when he was always all sad boy season. He just talks with that little, like, <laughs> Sophia, there's a guy at the bathroom. <laughs> like, dude, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Get him out of my face. I don't need him in the show. I can't believe you just said that. That's yeah, like, a possibility. That makes me really fucking mad. Yep. That makes me really, really mad. Um, but apparently fucking VD apparently decides to eventually play along. And then we get this really, 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 really cool scene of Sophia. She's already done a lot of cool shit in the show, but I like this one a lot. She like walked into like her new fucking room. She's the tables lined with all guys that are like waiting for her to get there. She's also showing off like her scars and shit that she mm. I'll probably assume picked up in Arkham. Yeah. So kind of showing off like. Not that she's just tough, but kind of making her like almost like a like a superhero villainous kind of thing. You know what yeah. I mean? It was something fucking. And there was um, I fucking actually I didn't note it down in my notes, but there was I think it's, I want to say it's episode seven. I want to say, but she's wearing this fucking dress where it's like all black and it goes into like a red yeah. scarf that wraps all the way down to the floor. And I was like, I was like, I get what we're doing with like the like the keeping it grounded and realistic. And I was like, that's perfect for like. A villain outfit. I was yeah. like, that looks like evil. Yeah. <laughs> she had that same outfit too. She had like four inch black high heels, but the, yes. the bottom of them were red too. Yes, that's it's, right. It's like a huge power thing or walking on blood kind of symbol. I, don't know. I know exactly what you're talking about. I saw in one of those Netflix documentaries, they talked about how like the richest people in all of Hollywood did it and they thought mm -hmm. it was some kind of like weird sex cult thing. Oh, cool. Yeah. One of those. Well, I, I didn't know the backstory, but I still got the vibe from it. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's just like one thing that they, they. I saw that. I think it was one of those Netflix documentaries. You know, where they just throw shit at the wall. Yeah, but she keeps getting sexier oh, by God, the end yeah. of the season, and yeah, and all these crazy, powerful yeah. outfits. Like she killed it. Awesome yeah. actress. Awesome job by her. 
totally actually now that you say that with like the powerful outfits now like that's a perfect wording for it that instantaneously reminded me of Cer uh, Cersei and there are totally mm. parallels between these two characters yeah Cersei did the same thing as far as dress like it was always like to show like that she's in fucking power like I'm yep. not queen and label but this is my fucking room yep yep occasionally wearing the armor or whatever like yeah and, yeah there are definitely parallels between the two of them too yeah a little two taps for their own good, but yeah. usually, usually get five steps ahead of everybody else and really brutal about it. Like 120 pounds that. soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> Fam it. Family thing, too, as far as like father fucking, you know what I mean? As far as like being in a big, powerful family. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. Watching her dad do all of this work, which we see Cersei use her dad's like, you know, little uh, schemes and strategies and tricks all the time. Uh, there's, there's, some, there's some parallels here. There's some yeah, parallels definitely. here. They both had a very, very close relationships with their brother. Not Sophia as much, but yeah. hers is a little weird too. <laughs> yeah. So if like we always had like those kids in high school that was always like two siblings that were just a little bit too close. <laughs> they were definitely those two. Uh, um, but this was uh oh yeah, you know, like I'm sorry. So we were uh Sophia enters her table. It was very, very, very cool scene. And she announces that number one, she's dropping the name. Fuck her dad. She's gonna be taking her mom's name, Gigante, Gigante, Gigante. Yeah. Um and that's when Vidi's like, Vidi's still a maid man. She she points that out. And then as soon as she says that they're dropping the name, he was like, oh, let's, let's not do anything rash. And she just pulls out a gun and shoots him right in the <laughs> right fucking head. head. Yeah. That awful. was fucking sick. Yeah. 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 That was a great, might have been the, honestly, it might have been my favorite scene was, to this point in the show. Yeah, so good. Just like a demonstration of power to the highest yeah. degree. Yeah. Just the old, the old regime is dead. If, if you're not, right. you're not up with the new regime, then. Yeah, yep. immediately after saying that he's on a different level than all of you. And, yep. like, you, you'll get to do so much to get where he is. And then he just says two sentences against her. And Yeah. Uh, do you think she, like, gave him gave him a chance to take part of the new regime? Or was she did she know that he, he was, was going to? Yeah. So I he's like, I'm just going to do it the most he thought ruthless he maybe, way possible. Yeah, he thought he could maybe elbow through her in that meeting yeah. with everybody else there, you know? But yeah. But she wasn't having and it. And she knows that he's not having it. Yeah. I think she was almost using him like a chip. To yeah. like basically like Make do this exact yeah, yeah exactly it shows this. how serious she is too right like if you're like not you're not with it around. this is what's happening yeah because she tells all the all the guys at the table too she tells them all that she was the one that killed all the family mm -hmm. she's like I wiped them all out mm -hmm. and then like we said she wiped out the last one so it's it's a new fucking regime and uh, the money that she was looking for from Vidi she uh, she apparently found it he gave it to her and she just drops it on the fucking table and she's like yo like this this is the new regime like if you guys are willing to fall in line. You're going to get paid because you guys haven't been paid the right way. And she's like, it's going to be under my rule. You yeah. guys will be fucking. Space says, take it. Yeah. yeah. They, all the guys just kind of stop going tension. over. And fuck yeah. One guy breaks like, the ice. Yeah. Are you waiting to shoot someone yeah. else in the head? Or For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 50 grand right now? One guy grabs a band. It's like, oh, they got <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Take this. Take this. Yeah, take yeah. This. Like kids fucking fighting for candy at a pinata. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, we see Vic has been trying to get Francis out of town because Oz told him to. They go to his old place in Crown Point, which is just completely still all fucked up. Um, but he's seen by uh, that little shitty drug dealer that we've seen a couple times. Squid, Squid. Uh, he notices them going inside. And then it ends with a good, uh, actually, no, it's two things. We see Sophia make a deal with Sal. This was a cool scene. Sal's in the kitchen. He's cooking up. I, I liked this one. Yeah. Sophia like comes in. They share a glass of wine. They eat a meal together. She starts, which we already saw her in a different scene, like mowing down on food. It was at something fancy too. Remember? It was like one yeah, of it was the a fancy dinner. She's fancy just dinner. Like, like taken just by the hand and just eating like she's still at Arkham. Yeah. yeah. And she like started to kind of like do that, and then she was like, she she stopped yeah, herself right. and she like paused. But um, it definitely seemed like too she was. You know, like a lot of people doing this kind of shit. She was like, is he poisoning me? Is he putting something in the wine? So he made sure to like pour it, like drink yeah, it right, himself. Right. So it was like very much like on the up and up. Yeah. Like it's what shows that Sal is old school. Yeah, right. You know what I yeah. mean? He's like, we're in the kitchen right now. Like this isn't. Yeah. It's like a, like old school Italian. Like, <laughs> like this, exactly. whatever's going on, we're in the kitchen making a making a good meal. Exactly. Like, we're not doing any of that nonsense. Like the, the big thing was always like, um, like you don't do anything like at mobsters homes. Like yeah, yeah, right, right. Fan, like you don't do it at the yeah, like yeah, at yeah. anyone's actual home with yeah, their yeah. family and shit. We're like, still we're off, making chicken palm before we're in the kitchen. We're not, yeah. not killing anybody. Yeah, uh, we were just saying I, I liked this scene here uh, where Sal and Sophia make a deal. 
But I liked the vibe of it. It was very, like, mafioso, kind of like we were saying. Yeah. Like, I was saying to him, I was like, you know, they're exchanging a meal, and she's like, doesn't know if she's on guard or not, and he makes sure, like, he eats and drinks first and shit like that. So I was like, all right. And then, obviously, she's kind of turning over a new leaf because she wasn't guzzling down the food. Mm. She started to, and then she, like, stopped. Yeah. Uh, and then the episode ended very cool. Uh, interesting little scene. Fucking Oz gets the crown point, too. Opens up like a, a coin container filled with like quarters and shit. He pulls out a little coin and then he brings Vic to these cool ass fucking like underground tunnels that run all underneath Gotham. And he's like, yo, like it's hot down here. It's muggy down here. Like this is perfect for fucking mushrooms. Yeah. So, oh, that was one thing I did forget to mention. They got the, they did get the mushrooms during the drop, but they Just found two bags out two, yeah. two bags. Yeah. They had all gone bad. So this is going to be the new mushroom base. They're going to try to take two bags and turn it into a full blown operation. Right. Right, because they had talked about when uh, Sophia was originally showing them the mushrooms in Arkham, how it needs to be in this very specific environment, yeah, high humidity. Sure. So as soon as they put it in that open air pickup truck, it was it was already going to be trash. Yep. So all that was left was the two five gallon buckets or whatever. Yep. But luckily, mushrooms grow that way. You just need like one little spore. You can make infinite. These are also like crackhead mushrooms from like Arkham, so they seem like they're fucking. They look dope they do <laughs> like mushrooms are kind of like a thing that when you look at them you're like yeah i really want to eat these things those i'd be like yo these things look wild yeah. yo <laughs> <laughs> <That's pretty. laughs> for real these things look like they taste like candy those are like great things like is that strawberry was that a little drizzle Ra raspberry drizzle yeah. oh shit it's gonna be fire yeah uh but good episode good ending i liked this one thought it was a good um a good pickup too from where we left off it was a little bit uh not that the Sophia episode was down on energy, but this one was like I feel like a little bit more, a little more hypey. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and it let them kind of take some liberties, transitioning to the next episode. Like they they let a couple weeks pass and yes. really like let things develop a little bit too, which they hadn't hadn't really done at this point. So let's go there. First thing, as soon as it opened up, I got very excited and very giddy, especially because it's November. We get snowy Gotham. Yeah, and I was like, hell yeah! Oh shit! Oh, it's gonna be another plus for you. The next one, it's gonna take place in. Winter? Yeah, winter. Oh, I do love that. So this is actually right on board with that. When we were talking about uh, arguing about Batman, I had just done it online recently. And there was one point that I hadn't heard from anybody yet where I was like, they, like, there you go. Like, everybody should take note because that's a good point. He said that this was definitely the best Gotham that was on screen. I was like, oh. I was like, good call. Yeah. That is yeah, definitely that true. Sure. Yeah. I was like, this is, or like, the Bat or Reeves Batman. I was like, that is well, this is the best Gotham yeah. that we've seen on screen. A lot more emphasis on the city and how it looks. Yeah, for sure. Like, definitely. Like, the one, um, like, um, like Nolan's Batman, it kind of just looks like a city. Yeah, they filmed it in, like, fucking Pittsburgh. Exactly. It's like, Gotham's like... literally, like, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. This right. one they did in New York City. Yeah. Mostly. Right. Uh, but, yeah, they did a lot, of, a lot of small things to make it Gotham instead. Yeah. Like, uh, signage and stuff. Um, one thing that they mentioned in the after episodes was... Uh, they intentionally left like the water line from the flood on a lot of buildings, so you see like oh, that's this good. like salty yeah, that's cool. kind of water line like forty feet yeah. off these skyscrapers. That's cool. That is cool. And uh, just try to show a lot of you know evidence of all the shit that happened. Mm -hmm. It's part of why HBO is HBO. Last of Us does like the same shit. They're able to put these money into things and fucking flush them through the right way. They get good creators. Yeah. That's why it's the best. That's why it's the best. Um, so let's see here. Let's see here. Snowy Gotham. All right. We see the new, like you said, we skip a few weeks into the future. Obviously we get the new base of operations and shit's thriving. We only had those two bags. Those were fucking banging out. So now we got a full garden of mushrooms. It seems like we got a lot of like, you know, new gangs are involved. We got a bunch of routes going on. We're spreading over the city. So business is, uh, business is good. Yep. He's brought together like some rival families and shit to like work together and, Money always talks. Green, green, green. Yep. So everyone's kind of uh, everyone's kind of getting involved, aside from you know Sophia and Sal. But he's just kind of building the rest of the city to to take them on. And it seems like he's really trying to fill that ethic of his old um, you know mentor, where he's the you know the good mobster who provides for everybody and looks out for all of his guys and stuff. Yeah. Um. Let's see. We see more Jews, which is gross. He's fucking Sophia, which is just <laughs> like awful. tied to a chair. Yeah, just awful, just awful. Now that I can't believe you said that, that's like really <laughs> ruining like my mood I'm about everything. Here I am, just sake. thinking about I'm like you know they just showed this guy too much. Maybe in season two it'll just be like he'll be forgotten about, and now I have to worry about this guy being Killian fucking Murphy, which is just 
gross. Yep. <laughs> Just gross. Um, this episode to me didn't have like too, 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 too much in it that was over the top. Uh, Oz's mother's just fucking doing really bad. Yeah, uh, um, bathtub scene. I think it is. Yeah, I think that is in this one. Uh, Sophia and Sal can't find Oz, so uh, Sophia's got the idea. It's always Sophia. She's the one with the big brain again, learning from her dad or whoever it was. But she's like, all right, if we can't find Oz, then we gotta let everybody around know that if you work with him, you're gonna be fucked up. So they hang some bodies from the street lights, and they're uh, they're missing the finger to kind of show, like you know, that it's pointed at Oz. Mm-hmm. Small plan. Yeah, this is a good one. Ruthless but effective. Sal, even though he was the head of his family, like very much is like falling in line under Sophia. Because mm-hmm. we're gonna see it. They go right from there to Oz's apartment, and they're looking for any kind of leverage, basically. And Sal's like, very quickly, just like. This guy's got nothing. He's got no family. We can we can't do anything to him. Yeah. <laughs> and again, like, that's it. Like he doesn't like look around. He sees one photo and he's like, "That's it. Yeah. We're done." Yeah. <laughs> he's like the brothers, and she's like, "Oh, his brothers are dead." Yeah. And he's like, "Fuck." Yep. Exa- yeah. Exactly. He just grabs like a seven iron. She's just like, "Yeah, work on your swing." Like, <laughs> yeah, go, that was a good. Exactly. Like, go, like, go he just fucking, falls in line. Go hit some windows or something. Like, yeah. Go work on your swing. I got this. Which maybe could point to his wife was really the one in charge. As well. Very much. Right. That's true. That's a good point. He's kind of filling that same role. That's a good point. Like he's the head of a family, and he's like he's the one that's like smashing up an office. Like, dude, this is right. this is below yeah. you. Clean it up. This yeah. is like maybe a consigliere. That's even that's too low for him. I mean, that's you know what I mean. This capo shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. I got it right here. You're right, Luke. This is when he finds his mom freezing in the tub, mm. which that sucks. Dementia fucking is a horrible fucking thing. Yeah. It's a horrible thing. It's Could probably have. like my biggest fear in life, to be honest. It sounds awful. Could have been a suicide attempt of some kind, too. You know, really, not really clear if she just forgot where she was at or if she was, you know, it, it would have been drowning, True, yeah. you know, which is obviously something that she connects with. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And then she immediately starts talking about, will you kill me if I, if I lose my mind? She could have, like, been, like, taking a bath and then just, I don't know, not, like, fall, maybe, like, fall asleep, like, yeah, but, just, like, we, disoriented it's more so the water, to get out the well, water freaked her out yeah, from her sons, you know? At this point, the power's out, so, like, the water's probably not, like, heated, and we know it's the winter, so that water probably got pretty cold pretty fucking quick. Right. They're also not exactly an insulated fucking building, so they've been washed out, they're barely standing. They were already poor as fuck to begin with, so. Right. Um... It's kind of a weird combo in this episode, too, where we see Penguin making stacks of cash and giving all these guys a bunch of money, but then they're still struggling in there. That's a good point. point thing, but, yeah, that's a good point, actually. I guess there's got to be that. They are obviously, like, hiding out, too, because right that they are in the hideout from Sophia and Sal, which, obviously, I can't imagine that they know Vic is from Crown Point, which is why it's the perfect spot. Right. Um, let's see. Oh, back to the, the dementia thing, which is, like, she's clearly aware that shit's going really bad as far as, like, her mind goes. So she says, like, Oz, like, if it, if eventually, like, I'm gone, gone, like, just take me out of my misery, which uh, Oz agrees to. Mm-hmm. But, I guess, uh, dementia fucking sucks. Um, let's see. Vic tells Oz that he's worried about Squid, but after, like, he sees that he's too preoccupied, he's like, don't worry about it, I'll handle it. And that was kind of, right away, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, okay, Vic. Okay, let's go do this. Uh, yeah, for real. Like, let's go. Because it's about time. Because you can tell. Um, so, at the beginning of this this episode here, with, like, see operations are going good. There's a part where he comes riding in on a motorcycle. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He's got, like, a big bag of cash. And he, like, gives it to Oz. And if you notice, he almost, like, at, like doesn't stutter, like, at all in yeah, the yeah. entire scene with Oz there when they're talking. Yeah. So, like, we said it's a couple weeks forward. He's definitely gotten more comfortable as himself in this world as Oz's like right hand man he's clearly like he feels more comfortable and confident and he's like for the most part lost that stutter yeah that's a good catch that's true um but yeah so Vic's Vic's gonna go handle that shit himself let's see ooh Billy Walsh we see uh (laughs) yeah let's go baby (laughs) Oz Corn is a councilman outside of his car and it's fucking no one other than Billy goddamn Walsh (laughs) 
Pulls that plier trick. That shit looked Oof. that shit looked mean, Oof. bro. Like yeah. I right away I just like I don't know about you, but as soon as I saw like I had that like instinct to just be like, yo, oh, no, no, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't no 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 no. I don't I don't like that. Let me think like that yeah, if you fall through with that, that is just leaking <laughs> like as a faucet coming out of your nose. Absolutely would have been awful gross and actually you know what's funny is billy walsh doesn't just like right away like he's not like right away like all right all right all right all right he kind of hangs in for a second until laws is really squeezing down on those motherfuckers yep. uh but basically he just wants the power turned back on in crown point i mean doesn't seem like all that was necessary it seems a little over the top right <laughs> but that's cool too he's like he tells him who he is at the end too like in case you didn't know me Right. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Oswald Cobb. Yep. That's right. Remember for next time. Which they're gonna see each other again, and Billy Walsh kind of almost like gives him advice, almost like they're gonna be like working together because he tells like Oz, he's like, you can't be looking like, we can't have you looking like a kingpin. Like everybody knew like fucking Sal was a guy and fucking Falcone was a guy. We can't have that light on you. Like you gotta look like basically like a normal man of society, right. a businessman, an entrepreneur, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So apparently that yeah actually no they're gonna probably be doing a little bit of work together. But it was nice to see Billy Walsh as soon as as soon as he came on screen I was I, I was like I sat I was like yo yeah. Billy <laughs> what's up bro? <laughs> um, I love how these HBO shows do that all the time. Like Dom used to be like side characters and shit on HBO yeah. all the fucking time. I used to see him like yo Dom, <laughs> which I can't stand him in Entourage. He's so fucking annoying. Dom episodes suck. I usually skip them. Yeah. Oh they're just they're just terrible. He's the bald friend from New York or whatever, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got, like, there's, like, three, like, episodes based around him, and they're just, like, I can't stand him. Yeah. Um, we're going to go to Vic. Let's go to Vic. Vic's going to fucking do some shit. He's going to try to pay off Squid, which was, even that, I thought was, like, the way he went about it wasn't, like, a, like, here's the money, like, please don't do anything. It was kind of just, like, a yo, like, we ain't looking for people, right? He did it almost, like, in a boss way, you know what I mean? But I was like, here's some money, and like, if we need people, I'll fucking hit you up. Like, here's a shine of respect, because right now, like, these are your streets. Like, you've been the yeah. guy out here, and Oz is like that kind of guy too. Like, we're not we're not out here like trying to fucking push people around, and you know what I mean, like fuck over everybody. Yeah. So it's like, all right, you're in the middle of the fucking projects. This place has been washed out by a flood. Like, you're working the corner. Like, here's a little Let's cash. take this to get out of here. Yeah, exactly. And he even says he's like, there'll be some more like coming. Just like chill out. Uh, but Squid ain't about it. Fucking demands a meeting with Oz because he mentions that he saw them going into the apartment. So basically, he says like I can go get Oz's mom. And uh, Vic's like, all right, yeah, you know, come this way. And then all of a sudden, he fucking pulls a 180 and shoots him right in the fucking neck. Yeah, and hated every second of it. Seems like. Yeah. Yeah, I had mean, to do it. He's been a very he's you can tell he's not exactly like built for this life. Like, right. and this is very different from the things he's been doing. Yeah. Drug You're not runs jacking and cars anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. He was bad at that, even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a powerful scene. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but like when he like shot him and he noticed, and then he like turned back. I, right away, I was just like, no, 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 no. I was like, don't look, don't look. I was like, go, just go around the corner. Yeah, don't, you can't don't look watch back this. There. Yeah. I was yeah. like, you don't, Vic, you don't want to see this. He's like, go, go. But then he watched the whole thing. I was like, oh, that's just gonna make it like so much fucking worse. Yeah. Yeah, that was a slow, like, slow bleed out, too. Like, right over here in the neck, like, fucking just squirting. Yeah, but felt like he had to do that if he if he's sticking with with Oz and he's got to protect his people. It was, it was going a bad way, so he had, had to do it. Sure. I also thought, kind of, again, with the Batman thing, like, this was a little bit more harder violence. Like, all right, we yeah. just shot oh, this yeah, guy in sure. the fucking neck and he's bleeding out. I like it. Yeah. He's a, he's a bad guy. He bad was, dude. He was. Bad dude. Um, so while they were at Oz's apartment, Sophia was able to find a picture that led her to Theo. So she goes over there. Theo already knows that she's coming, which I thought was like pretty cool. I thought that was kind of gangster. She was actually the one that sent down like one of our ladies yeah, yeah, to like right. bring her up, basically. Yep. Mm -hmm. And she's just chilling. She's got like, I don't know, I think it's like a cup of whiskey or some shit like that. But she's just like all oh, like in her pajamas. Like she's just like, hey, what's going on, Sophia? Like, come on in. Yep. Not wearing any of her outfits or like personalities right that's, yes that's a big part of her that's right thing as oh a, as a hooker. yes she's got yes. all the different wigs and you know sophia uh accents. like asks her like has oz seen like this version of you and she says i think she says he has but he doesn't like it basically right. or something like that right it's a good call i forget about that yeah it was also a tie into that that people were saying she might turn the uh clay face eventually 
because she already has all these. Her apparently her last name is the last name of the like the character who plays Clayface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And she has all these you know wigs already and kind of transforming to begin with. Um, I forget oh, what shit. the name is. It begins with an F. Oh shit! <laughs> this is serious, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, basically. Fuller. No, it was yeah. uh. Notable. Oh, it's notable aliases. Never mind. I just wanted to see what this motherfucker looked like. But she gonna get that's her. She gonna get crazy. Yeah. She looks like which kind of like yeah, crazy. which you know doesn't necessarily pair up with what they're doing in this Batman universe. Like you know, it's very yeah. grounded. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it's no, something that that's her version of shape shifting. You know. That's cool. No, that'd be cool. I, I'm. I don't hate that. Um, but that was a, this is a cool little conversation that they go back and forth on. We kind of get a little bit of information on both sides. Um, but she's basically like taking me is useless because like Oz, Oz isn't coming for me. Um, and then, uh, Sophia's going to tell her that, uh, a lot of her girls were killed by the hangman, which isn't her. And Oz was directly involved in letting Falcone do this. So he's actually in a way, a large way responsible for the death of these yeah. girls. Yeah. Which is um, too much for her, and she's gonna go ahead and tell Sophia exactly where uh, where he's hiding out in those tunnels underneath uh, underneath Gotham. And she says, "You deserve your shot." Yeah, she's clearly pissed at at Oz. Uh, Rightfully so. Yep. She's like, uh, "What do you call that thing? Like the um, it's a big thing in like Red Dead and shit. Like the head of the brothel. I can't think of her name, but it's like a title for it. you. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's uh, uh, I can't fucking think of it." But you know what I'm talking yeah, about. I want to say like headmistress or something. But yeah, something. I can't fucking think of it. It's like I'm thinking of the West. I think it's like West something. World. I think it's almost like something like related to like mother. I feel like like not like obviously mother or mom, but I feel like it's in some way like tied to that. You know what I'm talking about too? Yeah, I, I couldn't think of the name. But. Yeah. Um, but anyways, we have a um, interesting little fucking um, like scene i guess at the end where the beer thing threw me off like he brings together all these families to do like this big gathering like us against the world us against the rest of the families the beer thing to me was just like weird i don't know about you guys but i was like this doesn't feel this like it doesn't fit for at least for me i was like this is this is weird you know what i mean yeah it's just like yeah, and it looked like I don't know. It looked, they literally looked like they were just like silver and blue right away. I was like, these like natty lights, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he brought red dog. Like, he brought some red dog over for real. To the- <laughs> Past yeah. blue ribbons, like <laughs> fucking what? It, what are these that were just like slinging around? And it was just like in that sense, like I obviously like I get what we're doing. I just thought it was, the whole thing was just like a little corny. He said like, we're gonna fucking rise up together and like if you're with me, like drink, and everyone just like. It felt like a Bud Light commercial. Like the actually, that was a Bud Light commercial, wasn't it? That was for you, yeah. yeah, that was literally a Bud Light commercial, and that's exactly what it felt like. Which is, I don't know, it was, it was real it was man bad. of genius. <laughs> this one goes to you, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Broken Hip Guy, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Broken Hip Mafia Guy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he also tells him that he killed Alberto Fal- uh, Falcone, which that was like a big step. Like that's a big thing to drop on the table. I feel like, but uh, now kind of like Sophia, like did with telling her table that she killed her family. Like they're like, all right, there. It's a new regime. Yeah, it's a fucking new regime. Uh, and then we close out the episode. We see that the power comes on. Vic and Francis are in the little apartment there, and they're <laughs> doing a little dance to celebrate. And we see that Sophia's watching on with like a fucking crowbar in her hands. Cool ending. Very. Yeah. Very cool ending. It's like a uh-oh ending. Pissed that you got to wait another week to see how it pans out. Definitely not my favorite episode. No. Um, probably, I can't, like, I'd have to, like, re-really think of episodes one through four again. But this one might have been my least favorite episode. Yeah, I would agree with that. And that's even, like, I I did, like, I really liked the Vic scene. I thought the Vic scene, obviously, was really good. But that was, that was so short when you think about it. Yeah. It's an hour episode, and that was, like... Three, three or four minutes, so it's not like it was that much. Yeah, it served a lot of the like growing the business mm-hmm. and establishing him as as a real threat and force in the city. I think so. Yeah, but they that's true. Sacrificed a little bit to to get that across and establish that stuff. Yeah, I would say between that and then, like I said, just me not liking the beer scene. Like I just yeah, <laughs> like I was watching it and like very much. I was like, okay, like I get what we're doing here, but. This is like corny. Like I said, yeah. it felt like a beer commercial. The points he was making were good, though. 
Yeah. Like, they don't know our names. Let's, you know, we're the regular guys. We're the beer drinkers. Let's fucking. The working man. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, let's make them know our names. Together we can do it kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember all the all the words, but. I'll say the Chow was there, though, nice too. Thing. So, like, he's very much not, like, the common man. Like, he's the head of the triads. Like, he's. He's a big name. Like, it was a big thing that he was there. It's like, all right. Like, now. Because yeah. they even say before this that I think Oz is the one that says, even with all of these families, like, coming together, he's like, without the triads, we're still, like, basically, like, outnumbered to Sal and Sophia being together. Mm -hmm. um, so this was, it was big. It was big that he was there. And it was big that he did that. Mm -hmm. Just fucking, just a little corny. Yeah. But whatever. <laughs> no, I'm with you. Uh, episode seven. This was a cool one. Um, I, you know, it was a cool one, except for the fact that I like, I very much wish that I could take young Oz's actor. And again, with the kicking of the heads, I wish that I could kick this heads like a, like a football. Yeah, Zach said was kind of, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I was like, you, like, you know, I was like, I know like punchable faces are very much a thing. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, you might be like 13 years old and I want to smack you with a shovel. <laughs> Not even because of who you're playing or the way you're acting, which was also very creepy and very weird, which hey, made Mom. me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I literally want to hurt your face. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think they were going for that. He's pretty despicable, a little kid. But, uh. Mom calls him the devil. Yeah. I don't know. I thought he was a good actor. But like I, I said, it was it had nothing to do with, like I, like I said, just purely off of this kid's face. <laughs> I, like, I wanted to, I wanted to hurt him. Yeah. I wanted to kick it. Like, really hard. Hey, man. Yeah. What do you say? You watch one of your favorite yeah, movies. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> dude, and then me. he talked. Dude, it was so bad, oh, bro. Man. Oh, I fucking hated him. And then we see how much of a little prick he is. Uh, but we open up the flashback. His two brothers that are not cripples are, like, running around having a good time. And he's just, like, jealous as fuck. Yeah. And um, he can clearly tell that he wants, like, he wants all of Mama's attention in, like, in a fucking weird way. Which I think we already saw before episode, I think yeah I think it's before episode 7 that scene where he's like tries to like lay in bed with her and he's like trying to put his arm around oh, her yeah, and she's yeah. like no like get away from me yeah, and he's yeah. very much like no like ma love me yeah and even the scene where he puts the makeup on her after the the bathtub yeah shit that's yeah, they right. dance. Yeah, yeah, that's, and he that's like pretty dresses creepy. her up and shit with all her diamonds and all that shit right um but she has him go out and run an errand. And this was a cool little, like, tidbit. Like, I liked this shit. Like, they run into, basically, at that time, the neighborhood king that he has talked about before. The guy that was always, out, like, helping everybody out. Uh, name is Rex. And you can see that he's, like, you know, he right away you can see that, like, he idolizes him. Yeah, yeah. So I thought that was cool. Like, we see, like, right away, like, the inspiration for this guy being who he was. Yeah. Obviously not got very any uh, role models in his life, that's for sure. Um... They end up playing a little... They go to these tunnels. We go to the same tunnels that we uh, that they're working in now with the mushrooms. They play a little game of hide-and-seek. They fuck over Oz by, like, hanging out in a little spot that he just physically can't get to because of his leg. So what does he do? He locks them in this fucking tunnel. Just two, like, still kids and your brothers. And it's like, you have to think, like, how the fuck are these motherfuckers getting out of here? Right. Like you it's pouring to. rain too, so like it it's, it's all right. dripping into the drainage and all that. It starts raining, yeah. yeah. Like when he leaves, it's like we see it for the first time. Like it starts to rain, and right away it's just like, oh shit. Yeah. And then they go to the apartment, and it starts raining harder. And Oz has every single chance to do anything or to say anything, and he just doesn't. Yeah. He just keeps like having mom all to himself. And sure enough, his two brothers fucking drown to death yeah. because they get so much rain. But yeah. going back to. Uh, like on the way there, when they they go outside, they, he sees like the other mafia, mafia boss. I forgot his name, but like the tall, skinny guy. Okay. With the jet black hair. Yep. So he, the two, the other two brothers, the ones that died, they have different hair colors, and this guy has, mm -hmm. they have the same hair as Oz, like hair color. Okay. And in the beginning of the episode, she she looks like she's doing the books, like she's like she's writing down all the numbers and all that. So maybe she's doing the books for. Rex. For a mafia guy, and yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right, Rex. That's his name. And maybe it's this guy. Maybe there's some mm, yeah. some affair that's going on. So maybe that Oz is technically his son. That I think could definitely hold some water, especially because she like seems very close with Rex. Yeah, to the point where she literally asks him to kill her son. Yeah, right. <laughs> so right. that's so there's something going on there. Yeah, I mean, definitely they've been. 
bring it up occasionally. Like, I'm not like my father. Like, don't say I'm like my father. I'm way different than him. And so they're, they're making sure we are aware that it's, mm-hmm. a, it's a mystery. But, yeah, I think that's a good, great possibility. It could be Rex. I don't know. It would be weird that he wouldn't have brought it up in that part there. Like, True, yeah. Like, we should kill our son or right, something. Right. <laughs> like, you should do whatever you want with the kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who can say if fucking he even knows... I don't know. It's a good question. Right. Maybe he's in denial about it, too. Yeah. Maybe she just fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Um, Let's see. We're going to go to Oz finds fucking Vic. He's all beat up. She took... Uh, Sophia took Francis. And this is some cool stuff when Sophia's got Francis, I thought. I did mark that down. I thought these were some interesting scenes. And I thought it showed, like, Francis, like, just how much of a bad bitch she is. Mm-hmm. Like, when, she, when she's in... Meant the good mentals, like correct yeah, mental yeah, state. Yeah, 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 yeah. When she's just like, she's like laughing, she's like laughing at her, and she's like, "My son's gonna fucking kill you, yeah. and I'm gonna laugh in your fucking yeah. face when it happens." Mm-hmm. I was just like, "Oh shit, oh shit." Uh, and then Sophia kind of tries to be a smart ass back, and then she catches the fucking hand. That's a slap. Francis. Yeah, that was a slap. But again, Sophia being fucking cool as shit, like her god, right away goes to do something. She's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> back, 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 back. Yeah. So that was fucking. I thought that was a good scene. Uh, and then we find out that the young girl, uh, it's Sophia's cousin, I want to say, yeah, uh, Sophia's cousin. The one that she spent the night with the greenhouse, in the greenhouse with, when she did the uh, the gas leak to kill her family. She's ready to go. Uh, she's requested to talk to police. So we find out that basically she saw a gas mask in Sophia's bag that night. Which, like, how fucking weird is that? Like, you see that as a little kid. You're like, oh, yo, ma. Something up with uh, that. Yeah. Uh, not auntie, but cousin's got a fucking gas mask in her bag. Like, that's probably sketchy. Um, and Sophia denies it, but then she sees like a bunch of, uh, like cuts on her wrist, like some emo shit. And then she's like, you know what? No, I did do it. And you shouldn't be sad about it. Cause basically our family was a bunch of fucking assholes and they deserved it. <laughs> did you a favor? Yeah. 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 That was a crazy scene. Yeah. It, it definitely was. It definitely was. But it was, uh, that was cool. I guess like they're doing a lot of character building for Sophia to like really show how she gets there and the humanity that she still has and the struggle that she has with actually being a bad guy sometimes. Yeah. She's a great character. Yeah, she's definitely. a really good character. In the um, the official podcast for the show too, she was a guest on um, a couple of episodes. Oh, like the uh, the HBO one. Yep. No, nice. she uh, she said that that was her favorite scene to record or to film. Was it? Was, um, yeah, the combo with with the little girl. Hmm. That was uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was good stuff. Yeah, I'm she sure off like ten of the ones that she loved, but she she said if I had to pick one, that would be the my favorite. Nice. Um, let's see. So Sal's going to be the one now that they have Oz. He's going to take him over to the uh, the mushroom business. He tells everybody that they're working for him. And then this is where Oz is going to be like, yo, your family fucking smelled really weird when I was burning them all on fire. Yeah. So it creates just enough time for Sal to like instinctively go to fucking fuck up Oz. And that's when they hit the power. And then Oz is able to charge at Sal. And then we had the fight that we mentioned a little bit earlier. We get Oz versus Sal. In a, a fight between two older guys, but, like, brutes. Like, not fucking graceful men at all, but they're both fucking, obviously, they're strong, they're big, and they're just exchanging, like, hard blows. Yeah. Not, like, clean, you know what I mean? It's not like when you're watching fucking right? these clean punches. Like, this is just, like, sloppy. Yeah. yeah. Not powerful and, yeah, yeah. Not desperate. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um ends in a fucking wild way. So Sal ends up having basically like a heart attack. I think it's either that or a stroke, but yeah. one of the two. And he like goes down to the ground and you can tell like Oz is like this is he's like, nah, come on, like we're supposed to fight this out, like get the fuck up. And at first it seems like he almost in a way like feels bad, kind of. Mm-hmm. Almost like almost like he in his head knew like they weren't gonna kill each other in the fight. They was gonna like one was gonna beat up the other one. And then the, the story would go on, kind of thing. Yep. So when he like dies, it's like, oh shit! Like, no, 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 this isn't. This is too far. <laughs> like, this isn't yeah. what's supposed to happen here, you know? But then it gets weird because like after he dies, it's, he does the whole like, um, he's, he's like, I beat you, I beat you. And then he like shoots him a whole bunch of times, like in the fucking chest and shit. Yeah. So that was that was weird. Yeah. To me, that was him trying to rewrite what happened. He's like, nope. That's not. He didn't die of a heart attack, right? right as we were at a stalemate, I fucking shot the guy, and 
killed him and let me push his body out of this out of this thing right now and show everybody yeah and uh that's gonna be how it's written and how it's remembered and yeah just kind of said just rewriting i thought it was like very much like at first when sal drops like oz was like kind of at least for me it was like and he kind of agreed but it was like this we we weren't supposed to kill one another yeah yeah right right. <laughs> we were right. supposed to do stuff like after yeah, not necessarily yeah. together but the story was supposed to go on yeah, but just right. two big guys were supposed to hit each other a yeah. few times and one of us leaves or some shit, you yeah. know what I mean? So, like, when he dropped dead, it was very much like, oh, fuck. And then it kind of, like, in his head almost clicked with I was like, all right, I didn't think that would kill him here, but I knew I was going to kill him eventually. Yeah. Oh, that now that weird. he is. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got you. Yeah. Definitely a uh, weird scene, but it was cool. Like, I assure you guys, I wasn't seeing him drop dead like that. That was something I yeah. did not expect at all. Right. You know, it takes some of the glory out of it for Oz. Doesn't, or, yeah, right. Or like you said, maybe he didn't even want it to end right there. Yeah, so no, I, I think there was definitely like... I wanted uh, to use you, I had some plans. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think there is like, Oz, you can tell Oz respects like the game too, you know what I mean? Like he likes the whole, the family, like he likes to play the game. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, like playing the Game of Thrones, kind of similar like in that aspect. Yeah. And it seemed like he was still like, there was still more to go somehow. Whether it was, yeah, maybe they were, he thought that he could flip them to work together. Actually, you know what? He does. He does offer that to him. Yeah. Before, uh, before he says what the family smells like, yeah. he's like, "We can work together to like overtake Sophia." Mm -hmm. So I'm not fucking trusting you. Yeah. Right. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, it's true. You're the biggest liar, and he really is. Um. So let's see here. Uh, Oz says that he'll exchange uh, his mom for the base of operations. So, but Sophia knows it's coming, so she sends in a fucking SUV or whatever. It's got a bomb inside of it. Oz is able to escape in the same tunnels that his brothers uh, that his brothers died in. Mm -hmm. Full circle. Yeah, goes down the ladder too. He's the, the circle. That he couldn't. Yeah, he just like fucking jumps down. He's like, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> but again, this was Sophia being fucking smarter for the being smarter than Oz. She's playing the game too. There are some Game of Thrones. I keep talking about there are some Game of Thrones vibes to this show. For sure. There were some Game of Thrones vibes. I mean, Oz ends up Not vibes, flipping that comparisons. back on her, too. But yeah. yeah. Yes, he does. Um, we go to um, a flashback. We see a scene that like Oz had mentioned before. But uh, he's going to take fucking his ma to Monroe's. And uh, basically, it seems like the mom is like aware of what happened and she's almost now putting everything onto him like i had three boys and i thought they would all achieve like a couple of things and it would add up to a lot but she's like now it's just you dude like now it's on you to yeah. do everything like you gotta take care of me you gotta fucking take care of my it's all on you now bro uh and he very you, much man. yeah he very much takes it on no problem yeah well, that's no problem man <laughs> yeah that's also her after she already decided that she needed him killed and that's her almost talking herself out of it Right, she's giving him a chance to it convince me not cool to kill to you. Yeah. yeah, so that like we don't. So in episode eight, we find out that she did that, but he also like gives her a speech when they're at the table before they go up to right, dance. Right, right. That very much you can tell like sways her opinion. Right. Um, Get you everything you want, ma. Like a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Yeah. I'll take care of you, ma. Don't worry. That house. You're never Do gonna the struggle. Whole freaking city. <laughs> Uh, and then it ends, the episode ends, we see that Oz survived the bombing, he's gonna climb on out to the streets. Fucking poor Crown Point is even more destroyed than it's already been from the fucking flood. And, um, we come across the detective that Sophia hired early in the show, he gives Oz a quick smack across the head, and Oz is unconscious again. <laughs> that That's a rough, a rough stretch right there for him. Yeah, <laughs> sure it was. Stretch. Sure it was. I thought uh, I thought this was a little bit of a. I liked this episode more than six, but still not my favorite episode. Again, I think it had a lot to do with this kid. I really wanted to kill him, so <laughs> having him on screen so probably has really a lot to do with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It really was. Good Francis scene. Some good scenes with like the little kid, like I said. But yeah, I don't know. This scene was kind. Of, this episode was a little bit lacking for me too. Not that I didn't enjoy it. I still enjoyed it, but just in the uh, the overall. Action spect of things the also, south fight was cool no this, yeah. this episode was pretty also find out too it's pretty pretty savage that he's why his brothers die you know what i mean yeah like, you're no, like no, oh no, shit wow. like he was ruthless yeah no. as a kid no this episode yeah no this was definitely a bit of a bounce back episode compared to six at least but yeah i definitely liked seven more than six seven yeah oh seven <laughs> was good seven was good now that i just went through all those scenes again real quick 
Yeah, you're right. The brother right. revelation was very that was yeah, cool. that's that the biggest part of the so. like. Yeah. As soon like I said, as soon as he leave them and he just started walking, and you see like the rain start right away. Like I had, I was like, oh my god, yeah. no way. Uh, let's go to our finale. Good finale. I, I thought it was a very, uh, very strong finale. Yeah, awesome. Uh, we're gonna open up with uh, more flashbacks, but like I said, this one's these are gonna be from from <laughs> Francis' perspective now. She's talking to Rex, and um, he offered to pay for the boy's funeral. She said she doesn't want any funeral at all. And Rex is saying that Oz has been like hanging out. He's got potential. He's like, I can mold this kid. And then Francis is like, Yo, he killed my fucking boys. Like this kid's the fucking devil. And she asks if Rex will kill, uh, will kill him for her. And then we go to Monroe's, but this time it's from her perspective, kind of like all stuff we just said. But Oz is going to make a nice little pitch to basically be like, Yo, Ma, even though the boys are dead, we're going to be okay. And then Francis is Francis is moved. <laughs> And um, basically, like, they're dancing, and that's when she kind of, like, makes the choice of, like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it out with this kid. <laughs> Change my mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, Change my wagon to this fucking psychopath. <laughs> yeah. It was cool to see the parallels, though, like the little differences in between two people having the same story, but from very different dynamics. Yeah. Right. So that was good. Uh, we see Vic continue to be come more confident in his role and everything that he's doing. This was a good Vic scene. He very much wants to go find out if, you know, Oz is alive and he's got like all of the heads of the families and he's like, yo guys, like what are we, we're not done here. Like I need you guys. Like we got to go find fucking Oz. And they're not like totally about it, but then he's like kind of giving him shit. He's like, you guys are a bunch of fucking cowards and yeah. shit. And the dude that we've already found out are like friends with Oz and shit. His name is Link. He's uh, working with the triads. He's like over watching it and he's like, very, you can tell he's like, all right, this kid's making good points, but like he's pushing the Just envelope going, too yeah. hard. Exactly, it's gonna bounce back. So he kind of goes and puts an end to the things, and he gives him a quick little jab, and um, you know says exactly that, like yo, 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 like like chill out. But this was a good Vic scene again. The, yeah. This was him like coming into his character yeah. to the point now where he's like standing up to to big people, like heads yeah. of families and shit. He's all bought in. Yeah. He's bought in you. He's feeling, like I said, very much like I'm Oz's like right hand guy. Like we built, like we built this fucking thing and he's, like I said, no stuttering. He wasn't stuttering there either. No. He was like, yo, we gotta go fucking go. Like, let's go. Y'all are cowards. Yeah. So, Vic is, uh, Vic is bought in. Vic's become, uh, he's become a part of the, the whole thing. He's, a, he's an OG. He's a gangster. Oh, uh, let's see. Probably made a lot of progress with all those second in commands on that speech too. You know, he gets rejected, but that's maybe and where he's... all those second in commands hear what he's saying. Yep. Like I could be that guy too. Right. <laughs> that could be me. Yeah. Also shows like how committed he is to Oz too, which yeah. I think is probably like a good sign. Not a good sign, but to the other the other heads, like, yo, this kid's willing to fucking go into the rubble zone to go find this guy. Right. Uh let's see here. Ooh, this was a cool little scene. This was a cool little scene. So we have, uh, we saw Oz get hit over the head. He's been taken. He's unconscious. And he wakes up and he's tied to a chair. And so uh, Francis is tied to a chair. And Sophia is very much like trying to just like create chaos and like sadness. Like yeah, she's trying to like just cut into Oz's heart. Um, But she basically like tries to tell him like, yo, like tell your mom what really happened. Like tell her yeah. what happened to the boys. He's refusing to do it. She's about to lose a finger. And then the mom's like, yo, like, fucking, I already know. Like, it's fine. Like, just say it. And Oz still, still tries to deny yeah, it. That's, Even then. That's crazy. Yeah. That's so Which crazy. goes to show, like, he is out for himself. Yeah. Nobody else. Yep. Yeah. And or his mind is so twisted that he's convinced himself of some things to, to like, may or may not be true kind of thing. Mm. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. He's just like, yeah, that's... That's no, how it no, fucking no. happened. I, I hear that. They always say, like, if you lie to yourself for long enough, you start to fucking believe, believe that shit. Right. I don't, yeah. You know, so I like that. Lie. He's I like that. about being the one that kills Maroney, you know? Like, he, he just, like, rewrites this his, history for himself for the way he wants to see it. Yeah. I could definitely see that, actually. That's a fucking good call. But this woman that he's, like, the whole show has been, like... Make sure, like Vic, make sure she's safe. Make sure she's fucking comfortable. Make sure she's not too crazy. 
And then, like, just like that, is very much willing to let her just start getting chopped up. Yeah. One finger, who knows where it goes from there. Another just, finger. Just for the thing. sake of not tell her what she already knows. Yeah. Fucking A. He even, like, uh, he's like, you're fucking, your dementia's getting to you. You're fucking yeah. thinking of things that aren't real. But then Francis fucking <laughs> gets up, calls him the fucking devil, says, I should have killed you when you were a kid. Breaks a bottle and fucking stabs Oz right in the goddamn stomach. And then drops dead pretty much right after. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> with, with her dying moves, yeah. she killed her son, or tried to kill her son, I should say. Yeah. Um, but this gives him enough time to just hulk out of the chair, grabs a gun, and shoots a couple of guys, including the detective, right in the face. Yeah. Again, very cool. Mm -hmm. Just like the detective was, oh, he's doing the drops again, that yeah. little crackhead. <laughs> She's all high, and she's like, hell yeah. And he gets blasted right, right through the face. <laughs> well, see, I, I like the, this show's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this show's awesome. If, it's really good. If Batman goes more like this, then I'm going to completely come around. Be like, all right, yeah, this movie's fucking great. I don't need it to be Batman. I just need to see other people die by the hands of other people more brutally than the Riddler. Yeah. I was so pumped for Paul Dano, too. He's the man. That fucking <laughs> character stunk. <laughs> you know what the worst was? Fucking Andy Serkis. Oh, my terrible, God. Terrible, terrible Alfred. Just the worst fucking... Uh, really bad Alfred. Alfred. <laughs> I was about to say Albert. Fucking worst Alfred of all time. Just terrible. Don't follow up Michael Caine. Catwoman sucked too. She was awful. Oh, and yeah, that I disagree with. Oh, I have nightmares sometimes. <laughs> I have sometimes I'm having a nightmare, and then all of a sudden, like something bad happens, and then the person looks up at me and they go, "I still have eight lives." And then I vomit, and I wake <laughs> up, and then I vomit yeah, again in real life. <laughs> oh my god, it was so fucking awful. I like. I remember like laughing out loud and like in the theater, like when we saw it with him. And I remember like laughing. I was like looking around, like nobody else is. Everybody else is not laughing. I was like, "Are you guys serious right now?" I was like, "Did you guys not just hear what I just heard?" <laughs> I was like, the utter ridiculousness that just came out of this movie is insanity. Are you guys not okay? Fine, Come I get it. Books, man. Get I'm the only like one that. here. I'm the only one here. <laughs> oh man. I remember fucking, I went for like 30 minutes to the goddamn bar because no one would fucking serve me. I was like just standing there and I like called two people over and they're like, all right, I'll page somebody, I'll page somebody. And then I went back into the theater with my beers and I like sat down. I was just like, I was like, yo, so what did I miss? And I was like, <laughs> nothing not really. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. That's about right. Uh, let's see. We know... Oh, Sophia's going to burn down her fucking parents' mansion. That was pretty cool. Love to see that again. Yeah. Um, she's trying to recruit gangs, basically, to turn against Oz. And the triads are apparently the one that's going to do it. So they bring Oz to Sophia. And um, basically, as this whole thing's about to go down, we see Link fucking has led a, uh, a mutiny. He's going to take down Chow. And then we're going to see a cool little scene where Oz is going to ask Sophia to go on a ride after they, like, took out everybody. And he does a cool little speech about how basically, like, all the second, the guys, you know, like, the links, the hymns, the yeah. second heads are sick of being overlooked and not given all of the respect that they rightfully should be given. And they, we see a cool montage of, like, everybody basically turning on, like, the head of the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The driver taking out the head of the family in most cases, yeah. too. Yep. Yeah, like the... Very, I, I liked this though. I, yeah. I thought this was very cool. Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> All right, you guys can talk. To us. <laughs> For those wondering, um, the cats are battling outside the door, <laughs> like full on Royal Rumble, like Royal Rumble style. Yeah, like battle. The Catwoman talk. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it was. But yeah, I mean, I wonder if Vic's uh, Vic speech obviously motivated everybody, and right. And I wonder, too, if um, some of this, you know, all coming to fruition, it kind of influences Oz's decision at the very end to, to take out Vic. Yeah, yeah. Because like, he is the driver. Right. Taking out the number one. It's true. Like, we'll we'll get to it. He says one one word that really fucked him up mm -hmm. that led to his downfall, but we'll get to it. Crazy. That was a Catwoman protest. Thing. That was wild, dude. <laughs> they were just, like, mounted on top of one another, just, like, fucking banging on top of one another, like, just <laughs> screaming. Yo, that was wild. Uh, fuck. Yeah, so where where the fuck were we? That was crazy. 
Oh, uh, we were at the oh the yeah yeah the betrayals and the montage and all that shit. Yep. Like I said, that was very very fucking cool. I liked that scene a lot. Thought that was really good. But uh, let's see. And then he brings her out to the you know this wherever the oh yes dock is or where they stop the the car. That was cool too. Yeah. And yeah, she's she's ready to go. She's like, all right, take me out. This is yeah. how it ends. Yeah. Well, like like um Queen of I'm gonna keep doing these. Game of Thrones comparisons. <laughs> Queen of Thorns, like, yeah. is throwing jabs. Like, she knows she's, like, made peace with the fact that she's going to die. And then just starts, like, throwing fucking jab after jab after jab. Like, I'm going to get my last licks in and make it sting as much as possible while you do this. And then we see Oz is just fucking taking the time to sneak off, which I don't know how the fuck Oz sneaks off with that fucking... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's put a silencer on his foot. He's wearing rubber soles. He's got a pair of fucking the Nike, uh, the Zigs on. He's just <laughs> sneaking off. And then, um, so if he's going to get arrested again, uh, back, probably heading straight back to fucking Arkham, you'd have to imagine. Which is worse than death for her. Yep. For sure. Like, that's worse than death. Yeah, she looks pretty miserable at the end. It's a good call, so. Well, yeah, she definitely did look like that. Um, let's see. We're going to see Oz is going to show Francis what happened on the TV. We find out she's a total fucking vegetable. That scene was kind of funny just because Oz is like clueless to that shit. Like she said, like he's just like, what? I did so now you tell me she's a fucking vegetable? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's so yes, it's exactly what we're saying. So yeah, she's a fucking Ma. carrot now, bro. <laughs> you know what a turnip is? Ma, you're an eggplant, Ma. <laughs> oh fuck. You're a friggin' potato. Oh shit. Uh and then we're gonna get to the, the shit that fucking really fucking pissed me off. Vic's gonna like console Oz. He's gonna fucking like tab him. He's like, you know, he's he's embracing him. He's like, we're in this fucking shit together. Yeah. Uh, and he, they go outside. He thanks Oz for like taking a chance on uh, taking a chance on him. You know what I mean? He's like, I fucking I found my place here. And Oz is like, your family now. Fucking thank you for doing all this. Thank you for doing all that. And then proceeds to fucking choke him fucking to death. Yeah. And not just to choke him to death, Ooh. which is so fucked up and just so awful. Because I can't have anything else like that they can take from me. I can't. I can't have anything that can bring me down. Well, I think yeah. the, the thing that Vic leads to his downfall is he says the word family. Like, Vic's like, your family to me. I think that's what Oz, Can't that's what drives that. Oz to do that. He's like, yeah. nah, I like, cannot have that. Yeah, I'm not going through that again. I refuse to do it. And also, too, when he, when he mugged, like, you know, he takes his, uh, his money and everything. Throws, that's the part throws that throws really idea. was like, dude, you're but I think a he, fucking asshole. I don't think it was that. I think it was him staging it that, like, like this was, was a, this was a mugging. This wasn't, you know, like a planned kill. Now that you say that, that makes perfect sense, and it's yeah. exactly what it was. To me, that's what but it I was. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Also, the... no, that's exactly that's that's exactly what it was. Yeah. That's a yeah. great call. That makes but like, people think so you know, sense. oh fuck him, he's an asshole even more. But yeah, that's definitely what I thought. He does everything for a reason. Yep, and I feel like that's him Calculate. trying to clean up his image too. Um, like the like mayor or not mayor, the politician guy says, yeah, Billy Walsh. Billy yeah, Walsh. Well, you got to like, clean up your shit. Yep, and you can't have any ties to this old life of crime and stuff. Right. Uh, and in the background of that, the scene where he's talking to, to Billy Walsh in the the curtains, each individual curtain that goes by, it's in the shape of an owl. Mm. So they're, they're teasing the court of owls to be the mm-hmm. like the next up, which fits this. How this much shit are they going to tease in this show? Well, God the damn. court of owls seems like the the most prominent one. Like the whole shit in the background, like that to me, that just like. Easter eggs. Stuff that, yeah, you're just throwing Easter eggs out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the Court of Owls seems like it's been a thing that is going to be a huge part of this. And like I said, each individual, the way the curtains were, literally looked like a like a big owl okay. in that scene. Okay. And um, when he's talking to the, I don't know what her, like the politician from the first one that, that in the Batman that, that survives. That's like Bella Real or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. She's building a... The woman that was in the sling. She's the mayor. Yeah, the mayor. Yeah. Right, right. She's like... Yeah, yeah, That's what Billy Walsh... It's like she's the new mayor and she's like... Yeah. She's built, she talks about building like a... Like an anti-crime force. So they were saying that's... Is that an opportunity to bring in uh, like Harvey Dent as a defense attorney? Because mm-hmm. they're going to need somebody to lead this, you know, anti-crime force. Yeah. But I just don't want to see repeat 
repeat people that have seen in Batman movies before. Like, I've seen Two-Face over and over and over again. Yeah. Right. I've seen Scarecrow over and over and over again. I right. think Two-Face is, like, a very crucial, like, character in the storytelling of Batman. Yeah, Batman's even if you don't make him... Like, if he's just defense attorney Harvey Dent and not yeah. Two-Face. Right. Oh, yes. That's actually more... Yes. Like, Harvey Dent's a character that you need in this sh- yeah. show. Yeah, right. It's crucial for, like, the story of Gotham and, like, the progression like they gave a lot of hints for um the penguin to maybe make a push as a politician to be like the mayor or something too that'd be wild yeah. him, him sitting at the table banging the hammer yeah um that'd be wild you know, he's about to get all cleaned up just like he did in uh tim burton's right he ran from when he ran for mayor yeah that's he did run for mayor yeah. yeah that's right he did run for mayor oh wow yeah. fuck good shit yeah, you boys are saying a lot of things right now that are like almost obvious yeah the light bulb is firing off oh yeah. shit like duh i was just so mad that he killed vic like Vic was, I, know. I literally said, "What the fuck?" Out loud, yeah, yeah. Man, like, what? No, the fuck? yeah. Like it was just the sweetest moment saying "family." Yeah. Like it's like how you end a season. Should have known. Like, yeah. And it was like perfect parallel from like the beginning. It was like, all right, like he was about to kill him, and now we're like family. And it's like, no, he was about to kill him, and now he fucking killed him. And I was just like, that, like Vic was like a good, like a good fucking character. Like for like tell, like there was layers to that kid. There was a yeah. lot to him, and like he was peeling them off more and more because he was becoming someone different than where we started at. But it sucks. It Powerful. sucks. Yeah. HBO fucking with us. Yeah. Uh, we see Sophia's back at Arkham, and she's getting a letter. Uh, Selena Kyle, which that's Catwoman. Yay! Mm-hmm. Half sisters. Sophia smiles at the letter, so she's yep. probably going to be broken out. She, Hopefully she goes like full like I'm gonna kill my family and kill her. Maybe I was gonna say it's it's a cool uh, opposite of um, of Oz where he just lost his last little bit of family. She gains a half sister here. Mm, yeah, good call. Okay. Yeah, okay. And um, I'm also wondering what the psychiatrist guy is. He there to help her? Is he there to now have power over her? Doesn't seem like she's in a great place or even like wants to talk to him. You yeah, know? right. But is he going? Is he? Her caretaker as a way to for like protect her, or <coughs> is he now in a, you know, yeah, a no, twisted, no, no, fucked you. up head guy who just now wants to, you know, feel that power again that he used to feel. Who knows? Hopefully, the second one you can just be killed off. Yeah, <laughs> just get you <laughs> thrown out the, the window of Arkham. Yeah, just get you off the fucking screen. Um, let's see, and then we kind of end. Uh, we see Penguin in his new garb, which is like the Penguin like garb. He's wearing the collars <laughs> and the yeah, 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 yeah. some top hat. Yeah. Uh, he's got the penthouse for his mom overlooking the city like we always like he always told her. She's just a veggie. Still in rough shape though. It's it's not really like what she imagined, you know? Yeah, no, for sure it's not. Like you always wanted, Ma. <laughs> and then, uh he goes to a room right behind that and Theo's dressed up as his mom and she said that she's proud of him. And then we go outside and the Batman signals show him. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, pretty sweet. They said that they they'd planned on that being the last shot for a while. It was the bat bat signal? Nice. I believe it. That's like the perfect little tie-in at the end for like, hey, by the way, this is a Batman story. Yeah. Yep. But it's also on a bigger scheme, like just nitpicking. It is kind of ridiculous that all the stuff happened. Batman's nowhere to be found. Right. Like a because whole. He's crying. Like a whole un, like a so whole si- like not city but a whole like neighborhood is blown up underground. Yeah. He's just on a. And Batman's listening to, like, Nirvana in his cave. Yeah. <laughs> they keep telling me this guy's Batman. I don't even know if I believe that. I've seen him fight, like, three people. And most of them, when I say three people, there were more, but they were all shot in the Battle of Winterfell. So it was impossible for me to tell exactly what was going on. Yeah. It was black hands hitting a slightly it's less black bad. face. He's vengeance. Oh my god, dude! I remember seeing that in the theater too. I was like, "What do we do? Like, why?" I was like, "I get it. We're in a cave. We're also watching a fucking movie, and everybody in this room can put aside the I fact can't that see. it's yeah. <laughs> like, we get it. Like, we, we can we can put a light somewhere. Like, it's fine. Really, no one's gonna be mad about it. But oh man, it's whatever. We're not here to talk about the Batman. This is a really good ending to a really good series. Excellent. Fucking goddamn. Like, they made Oz so, like, I guess likable in a way. Like, relatable, maybe more so. Like, you understood kind of where he came from and how he is. You felt, well, not felt bad for him, but it's like, oh, fuck his mom. And blah, blah, blah. and then he ends the show, and it's very much like, fuck this fucking guy. Yeah. Like, I want him to yeah. get his fucking ass beat. Yeah, awesome setup for a criminal you can hate, but understand yeah. their whole 
story. It's cool that this is the this is the penguin vert. Like I said, it's not the goofy. No offense to Danny DeVito's penguin, but you know, right? Yeah, 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 Tim, yeah, yeah, fucking like Tim like Burton eating fish and stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, like this is how he should be. Like he is a mafia guy. Right. Fucking show was Just unbelievable. Uh, yeah, it was a really good show. I'm like uh, sad that it's over. Yeah. Yeah. Colin Farrell yeah. killed it. Yeah, he did great. The makeup team obviously killed it. Vic was awesome. Sophia was fucking fantastic. She was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I loved the intensity. I, 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 the violence, the pickup. Like, this was... Things were... Like, there were stakes. Oh, shit. What happened? We lose our camera? Uh, you want to go plug that black wire into that camera thing right there? Uh, right there? Just yep, for no sign-off. And then plug into that wire right there. And then it hopefully should turn right back on. Hopefully being the keyword. Uh, no? Yeah, all right. We'll take a quick second. We'll keep talking. We'll keep talking. Um, yeah, just overall thoughts. I, I thought it was really, really excellent. Um, hard to really find anything to critique about it. To be honest. No, none whatsoever. Like, yeah, it's it's in the nine to ten range. Yeah, and uh, hands down, they said the know. the Batman the uh, the Batman's gonna start like a week or two right after when the Penguin ends mm-hmm. too. Perfect. So Perfect. it's literally just gonna all. What's gonna start? Oh, the bat the uh, Batman. Oh, all right. So, like, I got to tell it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be a week or two after the Penguin's held. Yeah, you. you know, I think they they will need to give an excuse to what uh, Batman's been doing for. That's two months or whatever. Yeah, you better explain why he had, like, like I said, like, there's been things blown up underground and Batman's nowhere to be found. Right. Sorry about that. There we go. Uh, Yeah, no, I like that, though. It's going to be quickly after. That's what, this year, right? 2025? No, 26, I think. Is it really? Yeah. What a bunch of losers. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Can't even make a bad movie in the dark. (laughs) Um... Let's see. Was there anything else? I liked the ground. I like. Oh, I, I like. I said. I thought it was cool that you could watch this show. Like, I think that's a like. Like, that's a signs of a good show. Like, you could watch that show. Like I said with Andor, actually. Like, you could watch yeah, that right. show without having to like comic book movies, yeah. or like Batman, or like in case of Andor, like be a Star Wars fan. Yep. Like the show was totally able to be watched on its own, and it was like a really, really good fucking show. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like it's just like, you know, like say like Loki, where we're like, oh, wow, that was like a You have season. to know what's like, going on, yeah. Exactly, right, right. It's very much like in that universe, it was really, really yeah. good, where this shit was just fucking... Anybody can watch it. Yeah, really good. Uh, I think it's probably a reason why it's done so well. Uh, on HBO and that's probably exactly why HBO moved the show because it was originally supposed to be Thursday nights probably yeah. under the impression that this was going to be for a target audience and then once they saw like the testings they were probably like oh wow like holy shit exactly <laughs> like this is like this is good good like fuck it let's go Sunday nights kind of exactly the same thing with The Last of Us yeah. like The Last of Us is kind of the same thing where it's like you'd think it might be a niche audience but then it's like no this shit's fucking legit whether you played the games or yeah, didn't play the scale. games yeah. it's like fucking this shit's legit so I thought that was cool. Very, 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 very good show. Again, I would say definitely better than I was expecting it to be. I had higher expectations than I did for Agatha, but this one still was able to yeah. even exceed those. Yeah. So. yeah. Love to see DC putting out an A, a plus bit of content too. That's a yeah, 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 yeah. Whether you liked Batman one or not, that might yeah. that might be like one of their first good good things in a while, and this yeah. was excellent. Yep. Yeah. Follow it up so. I mean, Matt Reeves and James Gunn kind of doing both in DC, but very different kind of works. Yeah. You can imagine. I'm Looking sure forward James to it. James Gunn shit's going to be very different. Mm-hmm. Superman's this summer. That's going to be yeah. sick. And then Peacemaker 2 is right after. Yep. I don't even... I've never cared for Superman at all. Never once intrigued me. I'm super excited for the Superman movie. Just because <laughs> no James Gunn at the helm, and I'm like, all right, this movie's going to be great. I guarantee I'm going to like Superman now. So, very excited for that. I'm excited to see what DC's got to offer. Uh, anything else? Good. No. no. Watch some football, mm-hmm. baby. All right, cool. Uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, uh, we'll be talking to you guys soon. Uh, Dune, Gladiator, a lot of things coming out. Hopefully, I have a very special show coming next week that was supposed to happen, but got pushed. Hopefully, that'll be next week. Um, but yeah, no, great, great two shows. Luke, Seth, thanks for coming in, obviously. And thanks for having us as always. Banging in here for these reviews. Uh, hope you guys all enjoyed it and uh, happy watching. Thank you so much.